has when your mic's not close to your mouth. Uh, yeah, I uh, knew that. Uh, that was on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Uh, yeah, guys. Uh, hey, uh, we got another one of the uh, episodes of Steak and Eggs. So, yeah. Hi. How you guys hi. doing? what's up? I'm tired. You're tired? Why are you tired? Because I'm wearing all this super comfortable merch that I got. <laughs> that is so chill. <laughs> no, yeah, that, my, my merch came out this week. It is. Oh, it's already out? Yeah. When this is posted or is it mm -hmm. out right now? Yeah. It, well, it comes out tomorrow as of filming. It's right. really nice. It is actually putting me to bed. I'm like, not sure thanks. if it's nice or not. Uh, Dude, he's wearing the pants too. Yeah, Show exactly. The pants. And I'll have to wear them for a month. Show the pants. Okay. <laughs> you have to wear them for a month. See? How yeah, many times are they going to be washed? You gotta, what do you mean? <laughs> Over the course of one month, how many times are they getting washed? Why? Why? Uh, what, do, why what, what, do you, what, what do you think I'm doing? Like... Getting okay. food on my pants? Why would I get food on my pants? See, this one's I'm, I'm actually with Aswin with. Like, what? What do you think? I, what, what? Why am I get? What, why am I gonna get my clothes there? Okay, no, I agree. You don't have to wash pants yeah. every time you wear them, as long as like nothing gets on them. But like a month is a okay, long okay, time. Okay, but like, all right, yeah, yeah, for, for sure. But like, you say every time you wear them. What if the time that you wear them just lasts for a month? Yeah. So it's only one time. You only wear them once. No, but like you're gonna shower and stuff. So like. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's so gross. <laughs> oh my god! Because like for pants, I like get it. Like you don't. Nobody sweats yeah. for their legs. Let me rephrase that. I don't sweat for my legs. And underwear handles all the gross. I don't sweat bits. at all. Like yeah, there's other do. people that get me dirty. I never get dirty. Oh okay. That's why I what said there's other people that like, who, get you dirty. Yeah. What does that other, mean? Wait, who, people, been, who been getting you dirty? <laughs> anybody goes near me. Oh. Go near anybody. Everybody getting around me. Try and get me to do stuff. It's, uh, you, you look at the inside of my shirt, it's clean. It's the outside that's dirty. Well, what does that tell you? Speaking of trying to get him to do stuff, we were talking about next week doing a special. Yeah. And we, I, I had this idea for a series where during our specials, we go to each other's houses and then whoever's house it is is responsible for like dinner. Yeah, right? I'm going to make Emmy clean up a dead rat. Oh my God. So yeah. I'll have to uh, leave it to cook. We're going to someone's house next week. We haven't decided for sure yet. That sounds uh, like a really mine. nice That's time. Do, yeah. <laughs> I hope it's mine because I want to cook for you. I'm going to show you my magic cards if we do in my house. Yeah. I got a lot. Oh, got a bro, lot. that would make me so happy. Yeah. Actually, that'd be so. That's mm -hmm. all I've been doing lately. Really? Yeah. I'll show you my rat. What do you mean, rat? My hamster. Oh, hamster? Oh. Yeah. With the velociraptor that guards it? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Yeah. I had a uh, two and a half hour long game of uh, Commander yesterday. Oh, fuck. So who so won? Me. There's no way he would have brought this shit up if he didn't win. You know what's really annoying? <laughs> what? Like, this is going to sound like the most cringe shit. I, pro I swear on my life, I'm not trying to be cringe. Yeah. I win like every game. So you're just being cringe accidentally. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's really awful. So mm -hmm. much so where it's like, I haven't upgraded my decks in like a month. And mm -hmm. I just go to stores and I upgrade my friend's decks. I'm like, here, put a Cyclonic Rift in. Put, put yeah. in a condemnation in. It sucks. It makes me feel like a dickhead. Because the worst thing is, I built a deck to not win, and I still win with it. Because I put one win con in it, which right. is called Reigns of Power. So what it does is it takes all of my opponent's creatures, and they take all of my creatures, and we swap. They untap, and they have haste. Right? Okay. And the, uh, the, I run a hippo. His name's Feldegriff. It's a hippo. I give people hippos the whole game. I buff everybody else. But then they never kill me. So then when it's just me and them, I take all their creatures, and I kill them. So it's like you... You nerds, kinda, nerds. Well, you, oh, yeah, you, sorry. You, you sorry. raise nerds. them up as like a cattle, and then you fucking slaughter them at the yep. end. Yep, I like that. That's good. But it's not. It's not. It wasn't Speaking of to be nerds, I mean, you got you had me wearing this fucking shirt with a collar on it. Oh, I didn't yeah, even know really... about how to use a button. No, this motherfucker. Okay, so he put on this sweater, yeah. right? But in, okay, he couldn't figure out how to put it on. I couldn't put it on. He was like. He's like, it's too small. It won't go over my head. And I was like, yeah. you need to take the button off. He's like, oh my God, I haven't used one of these in years. Yeah. And then he, he looks this up. This is okay, my first communion? Why the on. fuck I need to wear a button up shirt? <laughs> Let me put the button back on. So. See? Shit. Wait, no, I swear this has never happened before. It was crazy how much of a giga dork you looked like when you wore that I shit. I look like a little yeah, bitch. Yeah, so <laughs> it's like this. And then he was like, I need a bow tie with this. Who would yeah. wear a bow tie with a Bill Nye the a science sweat guy? No, yeah. this is a, a sweatshirt. Carlton shirt. from uh, Fresh, Fresh Prince. Prince. Yeah. You got a problem with that? Some, yeah, no. that's some nerd ass shit. I feel like there's nothing wrong with being a nerd. No, there's nothing wrong with it. Of course not. Why would there be anything wrong with being a yeah, nerd? Yeah, I mean, answer that. It's bad when you're a magic nerd. Really? No. Yeah, because yeah, when I show you, I'll, you play I'll your first look, game. I'll look at the cards when we like when we hang out. They made My Little Ponies. Did they really? I yep, My Little Ponies. Damn, pony. they Why should all be zero that? zeros. <laughs> like, it's a talking point to me. 
Were you a brony back in the day? What the fuck? Were you uh, a brony? No. What do you think? Kind of. No. I feel like... Go ahead. I feel go, like no, you were one of the... <laughs> I feel like he was one of those people who like hated on bronies, but he like was a little bit drawn to it. You know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> Am I the, wrong? Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> so here's the thing, right? I actually made a video. That I was like, it's like 2012. I made a video about bronies because I said, listen, like bronies are just the new generation of furries. Like that's basically what no, it is. Yeah, no, they are. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, and it's like, I get why a brony wants to watch. Like I get how you become a brony. I understand it. Because like you See watch, what I mean? you watch My Little Pony bro, that shit is relaxed. Like, there's nothing bad that's ever going to happen. There's never going to be like a, like, is there okay, going to be like, you're not wrong. You know, Fluttershy is never going to get <sighs> fucking murdered. Yes, right? but then why bro. not watch any other kids show? So then, and I'm going to get to okay. that. I'm about to get to that. Okay. Yeah. Because whenever I was 14, 15, and 16 years old, you know what I used to watch whenever I get ready to go to school? Dora the Explorer. The Explorer. The, I would, yep, that's why I was 16 fucking years old watching Dora the Explorer. You know why? Because that shit was relaxing. Did you that watch Diego? completely chill. What? Did you watch Diego? Nah. Neither did I. Nah, bro, fuck that kid. There was something about it. Dora and Boots. Boots was fire. I like the raccoon. Swiper. Swiper. Oh, yeah. Swiper. Yeah. He was yeah, good. hell yeah. Yeah, Dora he was, a was fox, good. fox, I think. That, that makes me, me feel better fox? that you what? said that. Because I was watching that shit too when I was like 17 about to go to school. But and like, I was like, what the fuck's wrong with that? But there's nothing wrong with that, right? Because like, yeah. and it's like, I like I could count to like five in Spanish. I mean, not anymore, right? I mean, it's not, it's, I'm not trying to show <laughs> off here. But uh, I used to be able to. And so, yeah, I even learned something from it. So I understand how someone becomes a brony. What about like, wouldn't, wouldn't you want to be a brony? Well, you can't be a brony because you're a girl. Oh. Yeah. No, there, isn't there another name for it? Yeah, there's cloppers. No. Not that one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the other one. Yeah, that's a, that's, that's a whole dangerous rabbit That's a dark hole. side of the fandom. Yeah, that's what's crazy is that's what I thought a brony was. That is what a brony is. Okay, okay. we're on yeah. the same page. Because I was like- Have you not seen like, well, there's like the jar thing started from bronies. The jar thing? No, it didn't. Oh uh, Yeah, I don't and think so. It? I thought the jar no. started from the dude chipping the jar up his ass. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You don't know about no. this? So, Wait, okay, this is, so this is okay, my, my friend, Dylan, my the, friend never mind, back go in the on. day, right, is like, we were in like chemistry class. And so we, we, my friend Dylan said, hey, let's learn about some biology. He brings in a fucking video and he shows it to, he looks it up on, a, on the school computer, which I think was kind of a mistake. And it's a dude that puts a jar inside of his ass and it goes so far up his ass, it prolapses his ass. Yeah. And then he crushes the jar with his ass cheeks. Yeah. And then he pulls the bloody shards out of his ass cheeks. Yeah. And then he puts them down. And it's called One Guy, One Jar. We I've watched it like three times. Yes. I watched Dylan show that no, to I've like heard three of this. different people. He, he what died. I meant by the jar thing yeah. is the, the figures. The that's not what I meant. The figures oh, oh. in <laughs> jar thing comes from <laughs> the bronies. Are you sure? I'll trust no, you. Rainbow Dash. She was the first jarred character? Yeah. What do you mean a jar? Well, like, how horrifying the community is. It's furries and pedophiles combined into one. It's like <laughs> yeah. a superpower. It's no, like you Goku know what, you the know what would suck? And I, I still see this to this day is the target audience of My Little Pony is like probably girls that are like eight to like maybe 14. I would, yeah. uh, I would say four to six. You think so? Yeah. I, I feel like the new My Little Pony was meant for like a little bit older. Seven. Okay. Well, regardless, imagine being the target audience and you're like, oh, I'm such a big fan of this. And then you search it up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, yeah, that's rough. Fluttershy playing with, uh, you know, like, I don't, I don't know any of the other. I'd have to really think about them. Uh, Princess, what was her fucking name? I don't remember the purple one. I'm proud that I don't know. Yeah, I could probably name off like four or five. There's really Rainbow Dash, Applejack, yeah. Twilight Applejack, Sparkle. Yeah. There's Discord. One. He's the dragon. You know what's crazy? Discord? A, yeah, Discord. He was the dragon. Yeah. I learned all this yesterday. You know the security guard? The yeah. security guard that I was attacking Miz? Yeah. He was trying to convince me that he was a brony. And so he was telling me all this crazy shit. And I was like losing respect for him so fast. And then it was like, nah, I'm just messing with you. I was just watching my little sister when, he, when she would watch that shit. I watched My Little Pony when I was like 15. Like the the season that like- all I think that's fine. The bronies. I thought it was good, but like, I don't even remember. Like it was good, but it wasn't like cr anything crazy. What I'd is say. the damn princess's name? 
That's gonna drive me nuts. Yeah. There's the the white one with the rainbow hair is Celestia. Princess Celestia, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh God, I don't want to look at that shit. (laughs) I like how you like. So we got this shit pulled up, and like you know, they're already one step ahead. They just My Little Pony. No, no, no. Names of characters. Yeah. Let's not have any. Let's not let Google do its own work. Wait, Fluttershy's real name is Andrea Libman? No, that's the actress, bro. The voice actress. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> dude, all these names. Like, are, dude, the do you fuck? see that ra- that one named Scootaloo? Dude, I would uh, name a cat that or something. I do Scootaloo. feel like Rainbow <laughs> Dash <laughs> queers all of them in no, terms Rainbow of design. Rainbow Dash is sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah Rainbow Dash That's like is an cooler. iconic design. Yeah, it is. For sure. Yeah, all the rest of them, I think, are kind of like, uh, I'm going to be honest, I think they're kind of lame. You don't like Fluttershy? Uh, I don't know. I don't really think so, no. Is you have, you have the big old eyes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, one of the craziest things happened last night. Oh, uh, I rarely get the opportunity to talk about wrestling, oh, but good. this was such a big moment. It was number one on trending, and it still is. What is? What uh, one of my favorite wrestlers of all time, his name is Edge. Uh, he wrestled... You're talking about Edge, Edge, right? Adam oh, Copeland. fuck. Yep. Wow. Yep. He's still doing it. Yep. God damn. Yeah, so um, he's been wrestling in WWE for a long time. Obviously, I, I, I read years, like yeah. the dirt sheets, what they say behind the stage. You got to take it with a grain of salt. But uh, basically, Edge's plan uh, to retire was to get the World Heavyweight Championship and then retire in WWE. Yeah. But Vince didn't let that fly. Uh-huh. So generally, in his history of WWE, he's been offered contracts from like TNA, everywhere to go, anywhere yeah. else. And he's always turned them down because he's very loyal to WWE. But now he's ready to retire. His best friend uh, from like pretty much childhood, his name's Christian. Um, he's been wrestling in AEW. And last night, the main event was Darby Allen, who's an incredible wrestler, versus Christian in the main event. Yeah. And it was nuts. It was two out of three falls. Um, uh, the first pin went to Darby Allen. He pulled Christian Cage's uh, turtleneck over his head. And then Christian Cage pinned him again. And then Christian won again via, via some nefarious tactics. It was a real slobber knocker. It was brutal. So Sting comes out. Fucking Sting. I don't know if y'all know who Sting. He's like he's the icon. He's been wrestling for like 50 what? years. Yeah, yeah, dude. I thought these guys were fucking retired like 10 years ago. No, was fuck? it when you're about how, to retire? How old are they if they've been doing it for 50 these years? These guys are like 55, oh, 60 yeah. years Sting's old. Oh, yeah. old. They're old. They're yeah, old. Yeah, bro. And they're still Damn. going out there. Well, you don't even know about it, right? It's the Undertaker, right? He's got the fucking mask on. Yep. Who knows? Yep. And uh, their Christian has a steel chair about to break Sting's neck to slam. It's called the concerto. It's where you put a steel chair underneath somebody's neck and then you take another chair and you slam their head between both chairs yeah. and then the lights go out. Oh my God. Then you see this guy get into a car. Crowd is losing their fucking mind and he's driving along the road and on the pavement of the cement, it says rated R crowd loses their fucking mind because he's called the rated R superstar because way back in the day during the attitude era, he got that moniker by having sex with another woman on live television in front of a whole crowd. Her name was Lita. It was crazy. 2003, right? Oh, it was nuts. It was, oh my God. Then dude, Edge came to AEW. He reunites with his best friend, apparently, but then Edge turns on Christian. So it's him versus his best friend now. The crowd lost it. And when I saw that was number one trending, I about lost my mind because that I love professional amazing. wrestling so much. Yeah. It was it was such a good night of wrestling. And uh, it's cool because when the, the way it works is people go to WWE and then when they're about to retire or they get fired, they go to AEW and they do whatever the fuck they want. I love yeah. it, dude. I can't wait. So, like, obviously, you grew up with brothers, right? Yeah. And did y'all do the same shit that we used to do where we would fucking do the wrestling moves on each other on the bed? Of course. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Oh, my God. Bed, dirt, pool. Pool was the best. The pool? Yeah, the pool. That makes it way more fun. Yeah, yeah. We didn't have a fucking pool. Oh, public pool, public pool. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. You guys did that there? Wow. Yeah, Yeah. we never even did that. Because then because then my weak ass, I could lift them up because of the the extra gravity or the whatever the fuck it works in water. Give me super (laughs) strength. Extra gravity. Yeah, the reduced gravity. Water buoyancy. Yeah, the buoyancy. Dude, oh my God. I love wrestling so much. 
it was such a good night to be a fan. And I had like I had like twenty people over last night just to watch it, just on a whim, because we were all playing Magic, and then we we're like, yeah. I was like, wait, there's a wrestling pay per view going on. You guys want to watch it? And they're all like, yeah, I'm down. We all like gathered in my living room, yeah, bro. Yeah. What a night! I love it. Damn. Yep, it feels well, good to be a wrestling fan. Last night, I uh, um, I think I got food and I passed out on my floor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, pretty crazy <laughs> night, guys. Yeah, and I uh, I passed out, and I was doing my Honkai Star Rail dailies, and I had to do the rest of them in bed, and then I fell asleep. So I had a well, pretty crazy night crazy. too. As I said, who were you grinding for? Uh, I was just getting ready for the uh, the Jing Liu for the destruction items. Ooh. I'm getting her too. Really? Yep. Well, I get all of them. Are you like guaranteed to get her or no? Nope. Oh god! But I'm gonna okay. get her. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I really, I am thinking about changing my account eventually to just get one copy guaranteed of each character. Yeah. But fuck, it's just the free to play. Oh my God, what a rush. I love it. Also, I modified my Bronya and I increased her crit damage and speed by an extra 25 speed and an extra 90% crit damage just by moving some relics around. Man, you really had that shit fucked up then, right? Yep, yes, I did. Yeah, that's a, that, yeah, that's a, that's a bad difference. Oh my God. Yeah, okay. it was, no, I also got really lucky on rolls. Like yeah. stupid lucky, so I'm feeling good, man. I love that game so much. Y'all, y'all never, y'all never, you, have, you never seen wrestling? No, never. I wrestled when I was a kid too, though. You did? Yeah. Did you get hurt? No. Well, when I say wrestling, I don't mean like wrestling like as a sport. No, I know. But that. like, I I was one of those kids on the playground where we'd be like beating the shit out of each other. We but used, we we called it like Super Smash Bros in real life. Really? We, we, would just be, real life? <laughs> we would just be beating the shit out of each other, either like just like on the ground or like on a trampoline. It was sick. Did y'all have monkey bars at your school where you'd hang? Yeah, on? I couldn't do them. We would have those. Well, I could. We would have those, and our, our one of the fun things we would do <laughs> is we would get like face each other and then kick each other in the face <laughs> until somebody falls over. <laughs> Bro, I never lost that. I probably explained Wait, my nose. they did that at my school too? Like you would just hang and just like... <laughs> just kick somebody in the fucking face over yeah. and over and over, man. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, like... It was, that was fun, man. That was really fun. I used to... I, I used to love doing that. I never got that. Really? The whole beating people up thing. Oh, yeah. We used to... We used to whip each other for fun. What the fuck? We take turns. Holy shit! Was yeah, what? whip them with what? Uh, well, we have so we you know like you ever been to like the zoo for a field trip? Yeah. So anyway, um, we get the snakes at the zoo, and then we just beat the fucking shit out of each other with the snakes. The rubber snakes? Uh, yeah. Sometimes we had those, but then we also had the uh the the stuffed ones, and then my mom had a real whip. But then whenever we tried to use the real whip, she was like, you know. And so that was too much. <laughs> yeah. But other than that, yeah, we used to have some funny fucking games whenever I was can, a kid. You can fuck somebody up with that. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't, but, doesn't a, a whip break the sound barrier? Or oh, well, we, uh, we would do it in 10-minute increments, right? Where you yeah. could whip somebody for 10 minutes straight, and then you take turns, <laughs> and then they, if they get to whip you. Dude, what? You know what I would do? Yeah. <laughs> I do my 10 minutes. I quit. Yeah, I guess I gotta go home. <laughs> Yeah, I got home. Well, the thing is, like, that was never really an issue because, like, there was always going to be the next time that we did it. We do it like once a week, maybe like once a month, maybe for sure. Whip break sound barrier. The crack of a whip from a loop traveling along the whip, gaining speed until it reaches. I mean, we were dumbass kids. We weren't old enough for to be able to be good at it. Okay, well, so I just want to make sure be that good I, at it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's, nuts. that's yeah, no. crazy. So, so you would even? Oh my god. You yeah, me and people? me and my neighbor, uh, we would just beat the shit out of each other. Damn. What the Did fuck? anybody get hurt? Um, didn't I tell you guys how like I still have a scar on my arm because he threw his dog at me? Threw his like, dog? What <laughs> kind of a dog was it? It was, it? was, it was like a old... <laughs> It was his special move. He was going to be old enough. he threw his dog at you? Yeah, but it, it was like, like it was like fucked up. After that, my parents were like, "Well, no, that makes sense." Leave though. the dog out of it. That makes sense because, like in in Smash, like you get the Pokemons. This was before that, I think. Before oh, the, I think the trainer, Super Smash Brothers. Yeah, but this was like when a uh, melee was the newest one. Well, melee you showed Pokeballs. Um, yeah. Oh, as like the item. Yeah, the items. Oh yeah, yeah I usually would play with no items. items. Yeah, because you're a tryhard. Well, I wasn't even the one in control. It was my uncle. You know, it was me. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I would play with all items off except Pokeballs. It was just so cool. Oh, yeah. I would do that with my cousin where we'd use Pokeballs in those little glass things. Yeah. And that's it. But like playing with Pokemon only, 
And you couldn't attack them. You could only beat people with Pokeballs. Now, you know why my uncle would turn off the items is because I was so good at timing the baseball bat. That's the one hit KO. Oh, yeah. yeah. And yeah. I would just get the baseball and ruin everyone's day. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Problem solved. Just turn that shit off. Yeah. That's crazy how y'all knew that immediately. That's yeah. nuts. Yeah, I used to so love good. that shit. Yeah, no, I would play Super Smash Bros. in real life with uh, kids on the playground. Right. Well, really, it was like. It was like a bunch of dudes and then me and one other girl and the other girl was like, the fuck is wrong with y'all? Really? But, yeah, but but in elementary school, like you're not going to believe this. I was actually like a large kid. Like I was like, no, sure. I was the tallest girl. And, the- and I was taller than like all the guys, almost so, all the so you, guys. So you fell off. Yes. So, so did you experience where you like you peaked and then everybody else kept growing and growing? Yes, and growing? I, I hit my peak form in like third grade. I had a very early growth spurt. I was like five, three. And everyone else was like under five foot for the most part. Yeah. And I was like, so fucking cool. And yeah. then like two years later, everyone was taller than me. Dude, I, I was in high school in my senior year and I was 6'2 when I started my year. And I was like, finally, I'm done growing. And then in one year, I grew four inches. Jeez. I had stretch Ridiculous. marks along my spine. Ooh. Yeah, I was friends with a kid who, um he was like five one or five two. Like, and people would always be like, oh, that's like, Kevin, the short kid, our senior year, he he was six foot. Oh my God. Like between junior and senior year. What a freak. But imagine how good that felt <laughs> oh, to like yeah. show up to school and be like, hey yeah. guys, and taller than, all the, yeah. not taller than everyone else. I guess I can't well, talk. Six foot's not taller than everyone else, but most people. I guess I can't talk just about you doing Smash Bros in real life. I, I did Naruto in real life and I ripped my buddy's nutsack open. Yeah, we know. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> can, all, all, he, can he still have kids? I don't know. I stopped oh. talking to him. He uh he started making Xboxes. He like called me. He was like, "Hey man, he started I started making Xboxes." So he would take Xboxes and he would turn them into bombs. So I just wanted to like not talk so, to him anymore. So, so did did like if you, did he ever show you one blowing up? No, when he said that over the phone, like okay, I didn't. Okay, but like, why would you use an Xbox? Like, Does you can it cost definitely more or less for it to be a bomb. It definitely costs more. Like, why wouldn't yeah. you make a bomb with something cheaper? Why would you use an Xbox? Well, it's uh, obvious. It's because it uh, you can bring it through certain things and nobody's going to think it's anything more than an Xbox. You think so? I Absolutely. feel like they, they don't. I didn't, think of the, I didn't think of the logistics of it. I was just like, oh, you're making bombs or claiming to? I'm good. I feel like he was just exaggerating or lying. He's like, I'm making Xbox bombs. Like, why would you even do that? That's so dumb. I, I can't believe know. somebody doing why that. Did, why would people hold monkey bars and kick each other in the face? I don't know. <laughs> didn't, assert their dominance. Didn't the U- yeah, Unabomber true. just like make bombs from like, it, like shit he found in the woods in his neighbor's it's trash? It's not hard to make a bomb. It's not. Really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I've never Dude, looked the into Unabomber, Think about how many dumb fucks make bombs. Yeah. How well, could that guy be was that smart, hard if these but... dumbasses can do it? That's true. I yeah. mean, shit, I made a gun. Potato cannon. You did? Yeah, it's potato cans all the time. Wow. Just well, because it's a bomb doesn't mean it's a good bomb. Like a bomb could go off and like, it's just like annoying, you know? It's a like firework. Right yeah, that's Wait, true. So, so what What separates a firework from a bomb then? How many fingers you lose when it goes off. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't like that. I used to, uh, I used to have like videos where I would blow up tater tots in my backyard with fireworks. Why would you blow up tater tots? What do you mean? Why not something that like is useless that because like you couldn't like eat? the same size. What the well, fuck? Well, what do you is mean use? I mean, like that. That's well, you could have eaten fun. them. Well, I mean, you can't eat every tater tot. Why don't tot you like blow up world. some rocks and see if they like go through the wall There's or something? There's no way you're gonna blow up a rock. No, like you, 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 you like gotta have lo- a really you big launch bo- it like shrapnel. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, well, rocks are free. Well, I mean, the, tater tots are not free. They are for me. I just get them out the fridge. Oh my god! Do you want to know a cool fact that could save your life? What? So if you have the option to deal with a bomb in the air, like a grenade, mm-hmm. versus a bomb in the pool, where what do you think is safer? The like pool? You think the pool? What do you think? Well, where are you? So, okay, so you're at a pool, and a guy throws a grenade are you on the surface. Inside of the pool. You can no, choose. No, he, he's saying so there's if two bombs there's a grenade off. in the air or in the pool, would you go in the pool or deal with the one in the air? Well, like, yeah. it, it's such a weird question, right? Because, like, if you're at a pool, if you're inside of the pool, then I think it would be worse to be in the pool. Wait, but why? If you're, well, because then the shrapnel would come directly at your body, right? And you there would be, like, no, 
type of like restriction to it. Whereas like you wouldn't be able to like cover up in the same way. I'm going to be careful with the next things I say so that way I don't see another Asmongold Reddit post saying tech tone lying again. Yeah, okay, go ahead. Okay, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> so I watched a video on it and apparently it's safer to deal with the bomb outside of the pool. Why? Because then you can lower yourself to the ground and the shrapnel yeah. might miss. But if it blows up in the water, then the pressure change would just instantaneously like kill you. Oh, really? Well, that's the thing, that right? That's what I was saying is like, it depends on like how far away you are and everything. Cause like, yeah, cause you could get down if yeah. it was in the air. Yeah. That's crazy, no? Okay, I might well, I might have just saved your life. Yeah. Uh, maybe. It, next time somebody throws a grenade at me, I'll keep that in mind. And now, a word from our sponsors. Hi, I'm Dr. Toad, a rocket scientist. So naturally, today's sponsor, Rocket Money, is with my area of expertise. Rocket Money is an all-in-one finance platform that helps you save more money and spend less. It allows you to manage those sneaky subscription charges, build a custom budget, lower your bills, and grow your savings. I may be an actual rocket scientist, but this is not rocket science. It's just an easy to use app. But how can you use rocket money? Easy. Cancel all of your subscription services from one page. I know you aren't using all of them. In fact, everyone knows, and we all talk about it. Heck, you're probably paying for two Netflix account right now and you don't even know, but you would if you had rocket money. Maybe you're paying for three. How many emails do you have? Also, monitor your credit score with Rocket Money. Get that number to go up, just like I get rockets to go up into space. I'm a rocket scientist. To save more and spend less, join Rocket Money's 3.4 million members and try the app for free today using our link, rocketmoney.com slash steak. And don't forget, you can unlock more features with premium. That's rocketmoney.com slash steak. Thanks, Rocket Money, for sponsoring today's episode. Oh, here's another one. If you're out yeah. in the woods and you smell popcorn, you should run immediately. What is it? Uh, apparently, it's tiger piss. I've been watching these things where it's like, would you rather and things that would save your yeah. life. Have you seen the would you rathers? No. Mm -mm. Bro, on TikTok, I don't know what's going on, but they like... They got they captured the AI of the guy's voice who does the would you rathers and they're just making him say incredibly sus and just crazy shit. Yeah. It's just Is it like the would repeat. you rather sit on a cake and suck a dick or sit on a dick and eat a cake? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, have him do that one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, that's a good one. I mean, man. That's one of the biggest ones. You should is that, is that actually one of the biggest ones? Yeah. Oh, I've never seen that. Yeah, I've got a bunch of these. What? The, you browse TikTok? No, I've just been a loser for a long time. Damn, bro. Yeah. I can't tell if uh, this thing that I'm doing is racist lately. I'd love to ask you it guys. It probably is, yeah. You know Uncle Roger? Uncle Roger? Uncle Roger, the cook? No. Yeah. Okay, so the thing I is... I thought you were about to say Uncle Ruckus, and I'd be like, yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, Uncle Ruckus. <laughs> no, that's way different. <laughs> Problem is, so Uncle Roger is a guy who portrays... He does like a fake voice. And I think the voice is funny what he does. So he says this thing where he goes, hi -ya. Is Can I say that? I'm white. Can I say hi -ya or no? What, what, what are they going to do? Arrest you? Yeah. Wait, why? I don't understand. Okay, then that's good. Because there was a whole thing where he was addressing it. And Uncle Roger said it's not racist if you say it. He said white people should say it. So I just wanted to make sure with you guys. Apparently it's like a Chinese thing. Saying hi -ya. When something's like not good. I don't, I mean, what the fuck? No fucking idea. Okay, so I'm a Chinese? white person and I'm very afraid of being racist accidentally. Chinese? I don't think I've been racist accidentally all day. I don't remember anyone in my cool. family ever saying that. Well, I'm assuming it's not all Chinese people. Well, yeah, but... Not all Chinese people. <laughs> wait, is that... Wait, did I do it? No. No, it's just <laughs> okay. funny though. Why would that be racist? I don't know, man. I listen, mean, bro, like, listen. people say like French terms and stuff all the time in English. You got to understand the trauma like, that Spanish I have terms. from yeah. playing Genshin Impact is insane. The so, so were you a racist for playing the game? For playing Genshin? Yeah. Uh, no, I was racist for not liking Chinese singing. Oh, really? There wow. was a character called Yun Jin and okay. she did an idol. You, and I'll play it for you sometime. Her idol animation is her singing in Chinese and I yeah. didn't like it and I was told I was racist it's for that. It's like too. Kafka doing the idol animation? Yeah. I saw you. No, man, I was watching M Tash. No, but uh, yeah, no, if Kaka did, it'd be fine. But uh, yeah, I've just been told, called a lot of things so much so where I was in second opinion from rational human there beings. There are a lot of people that think that I'm racist. 
How many people know? That I'm racist? That yeah. I'm actually racist? All, all, <laughs> just all my close friends. Yeah. yeah, all my close friends, everybody else that knows me, you know, yeah. of course. Na- I mean, naturally, right? Jesus, man. That's wild. Oh, by the way, what? super side note. Are y'all going to TwitchCon? <laughs> oh, okay. I'm, I mean, are you I'm going to going, yeah. Um, Jesus. I've been told that there's going to be a food and alcohol strike. What? Why? Uh, so apparently because there's People a bunch of- lose weight? Yeah. Mm-hmm. What, what's the problem? Okay, so I've been told from some uh, unverified sources that uh, because there's so many concerts and like events happening during this one like 45 day time period that all of the fast food workers and like caterers and the alcohol beverage servers are all going on strike at the same time in order to like get better wages. That's why we need robots. Yeah. So they have this robot, it's called Flippy and it flips burgers. Yo. And Flippy is, you know what Flippy is, you know what word Flippy's not coded to understand? Mm. Unions. He doesn't even know what the fuck that is. Dude, I saw a bunch of robots. Uh, I don't remember if it was Japan or Korea, probably both. When I visited there, like a lot of the restaurants will have like little robots like that bring you your food and like you can put your dirty dishes and stuff we on have, them. There, the, there are robots like that in LA, except for him? instead of bringing you the food, uh, homeless crackheads get on top of them and try to have sex with them. Oh, wow. yeah! They, had, they try to have sex with the robots. Yeah, yeah. They get on. They're like, uh, uh, uh. I watched a video of it. What? Yeah. I mean, of course, that's what you do. What yeah. else are you gonna do with them? Okay, wait. I mean, if you are a crackhead, yep, that's obviously what you're gonna do. I guess that makes sense. Yeah. You say it like that. Yeah, I mean, like, damn, what else is there to say? So they had sex with the AI robots? No, no. It's no. just like, so like they have these little fucking carts. They get, they, they're like automatically driving around. And then it's like, like 7-Eleven on the side and it'll go to somebody's house and like deliver them. I don't know, a sandwich, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. But, drones delivering packages Yes, yes exactly. Now. Except for the problem is the crackheads intercept the drones. <laughs> they and grab the drones. And the crackheads drones. get on top of the drones and they dry hump the drones until it stops working. And then they break into it and steal the sandwich. What? <laughs> so in Japan that doesn't happen but in LA it's different I saw a video I didn't believe it I saw a video I saw it was old and there, apparently it's like it wasn't just one crackhead it was multiple crackheads and multiple machines this is like a common thing I've never heard of this yeah it's new wow You didn't know, so that's crazy. So you no, don't really keep up on my shit, mind huh? right now. Yeah, you need to keep up with some more stuff, man. Like, I just I've don't know how. A lot. I, I really don't know how to keep up with stuff. I have a well, like my Reddit keeps me up to date with everything. Like if something stupid happens, they tell me. And like also since I stream a lot, like if anything, if anybody does anything stupid, people will immediately tell me like, dude, go react, go react, go watch this right now. <laughs> Problem is, I get that a lot, but then it's yeah. just like some Spanish guy saying, hello, guys, these are the top five horses or really? the top five cats. Have you seen those yet? No. No? Fuck. I think, the, I think my audience is too young. Really? Yeah. yeah. My audience is like, did you react to like what Putin said about the Ukraine war? And I'm like, no. <laughs> 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 what did we guess? He said it was good. <laughs> what did you want me to say? I've never been sent anything like that ever. <laughs> yeah. Damn, bro. It's just me reacting to Mr. Beast videos. Some Spanish guy saying top five cats. Really? And then like, yeah, just You watch Mr. Sh- Beast on stream? I love Mr. Beast. I like him too. I just never seen you do it before. I feel like Mr. Beast flew too close to the sun whenever he started to cure people of blindness. I agree. Like he uh, just, I mean, he didn't need to do that, right? It's like, it's one thing to, you know, like <laughs> give people money. It's another thing to uh, cure their, their eyesight. Dude. I saw this Twitter comment that said that Mr. Beast is like saw without the killing people because he just like locks people in rooms and stuff and is like, you have to do this. That's actually true, yeah. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, I like that. No, I, I, and I, I think it's funny. Like every time there's Mr. Beast drama, I cannot wait. I love covering it. It's so fun. It's some of my so favorite so drama to cover. Stupid. That's why it's funny, right? Because like the bad drama is like whenever somebody gets killed or something, right? 
That's not fun to cover. Well, it depends, but like sometimes it is if it's somebody who's a real asshole, but usually, yeah. <laughs> Speaking of that, did you guys hear about the kick streamer that was in Japan harassing people? Oh, yeah. They arrested him. They're still holding his ass. Good. They, they, he still hasn't gotten out. Good. Bro, he's still stuck there. I think that is so funny. I hope they keep him there for a very long time. I think they, I think they will. I think that they will find a way to make it make sense. Well, I mean, I just don't understand. Like, yeah, I get so irritated where I see so many people break laws and they wiggle their fucking way out of it. There's no really? way. I mean, like, bro, like, like, let's. The guy is going around just saying slurs to people. Well, that's not, I mean, I don't know if it where it is, right? Maybe it's not against the law, but he's just fucking obnoxious. Like, like why he's fucking is obnoxious. it? I just don't get why that's not against the law. Well, I, it's it, mainly about it, harassing it people. Might, I can't, problem. it might be, because I know like in like Singapore, for example, there's laws like, like they have some in really in strict Singapore, laws. Uh, it's like the death penalty for littering, right? I don't think the death penalty, no. You just but go like, to jail forever. You 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 go to jail. There's crazy fines and uh. And there's no shit everywhere. They right? also have that law where it's like if you try to kill yourself and you fail, you go to jail. Okay. Would you rather be in jail for the rest of your life or just die? I think I'd rather be in jail because I get out. I figure it out. I well, what out. if you knew you wouldn't? You if I wouldn't? Yeah, you couldn't. Well, like, what else am I gonna do? Would you rather would you just chill in jail or just Yeah, blow up? I mean, I'd probably make friends in jail. I mean, it'd probably suck yeah, for a I while. Yeah, I think I'd just chill. Yeah. Like, could I have a computer in jail? Because, like, plenty of people in jail now have computers and phones. Well, it depends, I feel like, because there's some types of jail that are so bad, like solitary confinement. Yeah. I would rather just die if it, if it were solitary confinement. Bro, solitary confinement. confinement, that would be nice. Man. This guy. Nobody would fuck, <laughs> Nobody would be fucking bothering me the whole day. Well, then what, what the fuck would you do? You can't browse Twitter in solitary confinement. I mean, what, yeah, I mean, maybe, I mean, they have to give me a computer. No, right? you're not getting a computer. <laughs> why? Why not? Because well, it's solitary confinement. Well, 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 you're still, I mean, it's not like the computer's a person. All this question, how, what's the longest you've gone without using technology? Uh, well, I mean, like I use technology. All, I mean, I got fucking toilets technology. I think he's asking, the internet. yeah, internet. So, um, probably like three days. How were those? What? Why did? What uh, were those three days? So then? our internet got shut off because, like, my mom didn't pay it. That's yep. what happens. And so it was in the middle of a raid too, and uh, my shit got shut off. And so what I did is I, um, those are actually the three most productive days of my life. Uh, I like organized all the files on my computer. I like went through, I like organized all my old games. I did a lot of like crazy stuff. Like it's actually like, if y'all ever had a time where like the internet goes down for like an hour and you do more work in that hour than you do normally in like a month. Nope. Yeah. I do that all Absolutely the time. Absolutely not. I get depressed really? and I lay down in bed and I get really sad. So you don't once, have those times where like you randomly get the urge to just clean everything and it feels so good. And then you're like, okay, back to doing nothing. I honestly cannot remember the last time I cleaned something. Really? I just have maids. You don't like organize your, your shit? I don't have any shit to organize. What are you going to organize? Why would you organize it? The, you know, the, the only the I don't only know, like you, I make, have. you like make your shelf look nice or something. I don't know. Uh, nice my who? shelf hasn't moved in over a year. That's because that's how long I've owned it. I just I bought a shelf. I put books on it. I don't read the books. I just have them there. Yeah, I so have so nothing. You, you bought books just like for decoration. No, well, they're of importance. I buy one manga volume of my favorite manga, and then I just put it there. That way, I remember it. Just to have it. Yeah. Then when people come over, I say, "You want to know my favorite manga? Look at that." And they can read it. There it is. Yeah, it's very simple. And then I don't have anything. I have a bed. I have a computer. And then I have a house. That, well, I have cats. That's it. Y'all mm -hmm. ever have a time where like the internet goes down in like your area and everybody walks outside the fucking house and they're like looking at each other? <laughs> like at the end of surrogates with Bruce Willis? Ugh. What the fuck is Ugh. this? <laughs> oh my God. Has this been here the whole time? Yeah, like that would never fucking happen. It did. <laughs> It did. What? I remember it fucking happened. My internet went down for like a, a like a, like eight hours, and I went. I walked outside, bro. There was like everybody was outside. They were all outside. They were like, "What the fuck? It's down for you too." I'm like, "Yes, bro. Like this is awful." They're like, "Yeah, it was nice meeting you. Yeah, I'll see you in I twenty would just years." Stay when in this my house again. and read a book or something. Shit, I wouldn't go outside. When's the last time you ever read a book? I read books pretty often, actually. When's the last time you read a book? Like a week ago. No, you didn't. Which one? It's called We We Were Liars. You didn't you didn't read a book. You looked at a book, you read a couple pages. You didn't finish it. No, I read the whole book. It was a good book. How many pages? 
how many pages? I don't know. It was like 200 pages. That's fucking weird. Why? I just can't imagine that. I read books. Yeah. Can I talk about how unhealthy I am for a second? Because, uh, okay. Full yeah. disclosure, before this episode started, Asmund and Emmy said that I'm the healthiest of the three. That is not true. I am so beyond unhealthy, it is ridiculous. Okay, can I say why? Yes. That is a real book, guys. I looked it up. <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> okay. So, you go out and socialize the most. Yep. Uh, you also seem to have lost a lot of weight over the past year. So, like, it seems like you made That's like true. some lifestyle changes that are probably good. Like probably diet, maybe exercise as well. I, I know, you, I know you did well. Camp Canute. So yeah, I figured... And so, like, socially and, like, physically, I feel like you're probably the healthiest. I think I live the healthiest lifestyle, but I think I've gotten unlucky with genetics. How's that? Dude. Because you're bald? Yeah. You know what's crazy? Yeah. So, I'm super bald, right? Yeah. I haven't shaved my head in, like, a week. Really? Yeah. Uh, I'm really bald, uh -huh. but I can grow hair. It's... I have started to regrow hair that I lost. When I was like 23, 25. So you're growing it back? You're bringing it back? I wanted to see how bad it looks and it still looks bad. Yeah. But I'm just like interested and I've, I've lost so much stress out of my life recently that my hair is now coming back. That's bad. Why is that bad? Because it happened in the first place. That's true. Oh yeah, oh, yeah my yeah. bald spot's growing back. I don't yeah. even know if you can see it anymore. Oh like, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah. You told me about this. Yeah, wait, you like, go like there, this? There was like, yeah, you go like this? Huh? Like, go like this? Go like, lift your hair up like this? Why so Cameron can yeah, edit my yeah, forehead yeah. again? <laughs> yeah. Like, it's gone. Like, kind of. I mean, it's actually it, gone now? No, like, you can still, like, see it, but it's because there's, like, baby hairs. So uh -huh. it's, like, it's filling in. Like, they're really short. See? Okay. But they're growing back. Yeah. My hair lost it all because my life was just so goddamn stressful. I cannot, I cannot express to anybody how horrifying it is to be told when you make like $120,000 in a year and then you get told, oh yeah, you owe 1.1 million, pay it back in a year or yeah. it's going to like compound. And I'm like, oh, fuck that. That was awful. I've yeah, never grinded harder in my life. Fucking miserable time. Especially when you have nobody to help you. Fuck that sucked. Uh, regardless. I've, I've had a, I've had a, how do you guys think my hair looks like in terms of the quality I, of my Ironically, and I mean this genuinely because yeah. you're asking me sincerely. I don't think you're bald at all. Okay. What do you yeah, think? Yeah, I think it looks fine. Like I think it, it looks healthy. So I've taken a new approach to taking care of my hair. No oh shot. Oh boy. Let's hear it. Yes. You shampoo now? Try again. You put Argonian oil in your hair. I've completely Argonian. stopped washing my hair. Completely? No. Yes. No okay. water? Okay, so this is a thing where for people that have hair, I didn't, why are you looking at me like that? Oh, no, sorry. I was giving my attention. Okay. Go ahead, sorry, okay. go so like, it's not good to wash your hair every day because if you wash your hair every day, it'll make it dry as fuck, which will make your hair oily as a result because like your hair is trying to like basically like overcompensate for the dryness. So you're supposed to wash your hair like two or three times a week, but so you're just never going to wash it again. I think I'll wash it, but I'm never going to put soap and stuff like that on my on my hair. Oh my God. Uh, well, no, because it's like you look at it and I, I this is the way that I look at it. Um, if your computer gets like messed up, do you put soap on your computer? Bro, that is so different. It's crazy. <laughs> Why? <laughs> okay, because the computer's one is a robot. not supposed to have soap on it, right? You know, okay, well, no. who's this? How to? Okay, person so before you had this idea, how often were you putting soap in your hair? About five every five days. Honestly, that's fine. Yeah, that's the problem. But why are you stopping then? Because it wasn't working. What? What do you mean it wasn't working? Well, um, my hair would get like. Uh, it would get like really crusty. My head, my my scalp would get crusty because and flaky. You you, and that means you need bad. to wash it more yeah, or no, use action. No. Okay, here's another no, question. So like, do, you, do you use soap? Like I, soap or shampoo? I've stopped that. <laughs> I, I, I have evolved beyond this. You use deodorant? I don't need to. Like I walk back from my dad's house, multiple miles back to my house, 100 degrees outside. I'm going to be honest. I wasn't even wearing socks. No sweat at all on my feet, on my under my armpits, nothing. That that's just not good though because no. okay so no, you're supposed to sweat because that's how your body regulates its temperature well, it wasn't hot it's just okay but you you still sweat it's just some people don't have BO and maybe you don't have BO I don't know but you definitely still sweat and should wash it off 
Right, Techie? Right? Uh, do whatever you want, man. I don't like, care. <laughs> I, and that's why I asked you guys before I said it, because I knew people would act, because it, it's it'll change the way people look at it. But yeah, it's the like I've solved this problem. And I don't have the same issues with my hair anymore. And I just stopped washing it. And it's not an issue. Yeah, I think you should stop brushing your teeth too. Well, your um, teeth will grow back. I heard about that. Yeah, they've got the thing. Well, you know, I said sometimes, you know, if you ignore problems, they go away. That's right. That's true. I ignored my teeth and they went away. Yep. <laughs> it's that simple. Wow. So, so I want to talk about how my health issues. I don't talk about these normally. Okay. So I have this thing where when I exist in reality, I'm not here, right? I'm back here. Uh -huh. And it feels like I'm inside of someone else's body, not my own. Okay. Now, this changes. Depersonalization. Yes. Yeah. But this changes when I do exercise. Okay. Because it raises my pulse. And when my pulse is elevated, then I feel like I'm a human being. That's why I exercise every day. Uh -huh. I don't exercise because I want to. I do it out of necessity. I go to my pool. So I didn't realize how bad it was. So I went to the dentist, which should have been pretty simple. Yeah. But it was not very simple. I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, I believe normal blood pressure is like 120 over 90. Yo, Jay, can you pull that up? I'm not sure. Uh, it's about 110 to 140 for a healthy person of average age. And uh, that is within the healthy parameters. 160 uh, is the tail end of it being... Okay, there we go. 120, less than. 120 to 80. Mine was about 30 to 35 below what it was supposed to be. Uh -huh. And my dentist said, I have a shockingly low blood pressure, like in a not good way. Yeah. Not enough to warrant me going into a hospital, but enough to where they're unsure of whether they should do the procedure or not. And I said, eh, fuck it. How bad could it be? Just fucking do it. Yeah. And he said, if you're sure, he gives me a cookie to raise my blood pressure a little bit. He jams the needle in my mouth. Everything's fine. Everything's okay. And then I start to feel that my blood feels like there's a whole bunch, whole yeah. bunch in my mouth. I'm not sure what's going on. Then my head starts spinning. Vision starts going purple and green. And I like collapse immediately. How you collapse? I thought you were in a chair. Okay. Well, yeah. <laughs> if I was standing, I would have collapsed. Right, right. Yeah, I get it. I essentially powered off uh -huh. in my chair. Well, that's uh, good. That way you didn't have to be awake for the procedure. That's kind of convenient. Right? No, because because they poke it and then I pass out when they've left. Uh -huh. Right? So now I'm passing now I'm freaking the fuck out. So I try to get out of my chair and my legs don't fucking move. And I'm like zombie limping to the front saying, I don't know what's going on with you right now. Yeah. I start cold sweating. Vision is like purple. I think I'm slurring my words because half my mouth is numb. The other half isn't. And that shit sucked balls. Oh, that's exciting. So since then, I have been busting my ass. I'm, did you see this shit? I'm drinking water. That's fucked up, man. Well, I'm drinking water too. Dude, I am now drinking 64 ounces of water a day to regulate my blood pressure. Oh my God. But it was a real wake-up call for me. Finally understanding, I can't put this shit off anymore. I have health issues and I have to like deal with them. It's a really scary feeling. Yeah. I don't like it because now I'm going to the I'm going to the doctors next week to see what else is wrong with me because I, I fucking hate dealing with it. Like, have y'all ever been told, yes, there is something wrong with you? Because being told you have low blood pressure was freaky as shit to me. I went to the doctor and I had to go to the ER a couple of times because I saw some shit was wrong with me. Yeah. But no, I'm fine. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I've never had that experience either. I guess I'm the unhealthiest. I mean, my foot stopped working yesterday. Really? What Which the fuck does that mean? Uh, my left foot. I don't. I Did don't it know. Unionize? Like, huh? Did it unionize? I guess I don't know. Cause <laughs> okay, so like, it, I don't think it like fell asleep because it didn't have that like feeling. But I was just sitting in my chair playing Holo Cure, and then I tried to stand up, and I could not move my foot at all. Like my toes just wouldn't move, and I was like, "That's weird." I was so mad at you. Because you played Hollow Cure and you weren't streaming. And I, I saw, saw it pop I up saw on Steam. I saw Imaru sitting there playing Hollow Cure Save the Fans at five in the morning. Yep. And you weren't playing it on stream. I was so mad. I was like, oh, dude, she's streaming Hollow Cure. Okay, well, I like, I I was just, I've just been enjoying it. I don't know. It's it's actually like, I think so it's you're harder than Vampire on your Survivors. Stream. No. You guys don't ever play games off stream? Uh, Magic. Oh, I streamed Magic the other day. 
Oh, you did? That was fucking awesome. How'd it go? I grinded it for four hours. I went, I think, 12 and 2 in Wait, ranked. So, and so did you play like the the online game? Yeah, I played the online oh, okay. Magic Gathering Arena. And then I, I spent like $100 on packs, built a deck. Every single person I went against was net decking, like super top tier decks. And I was crushing them uh, with my pure rat deck. Makes sense. People probably just take the top tier decks and don't know how to play them. 100%. Don't matter. Fucking just play rats. I fucking owned them, dude. Oh my God. It was so fun. Because my chat was like begging me to do variety. And I'm like, all right, I'll actually do it. And it actually went very well. I was very happy with it. How do you, uh, how do you like Hall of Cure? I kind of like it more than Vampire Survivors. It's better. What do you like about it? Uh, I feel like the item stuff is way more in depth. I yep. like that there's like a fuck ton of characters. I feel like it's kind of a little bit harder. I but think maybe so. I, maybe I just haven't like gone to the end of Empire Survivors because I, I never like finished the game. But I'm not even that far in Holocure. I'm on like the fourth or fifth map, and uh, I can't even get past like twelve minutes on it right now. Jesus, yeah, you might just be really bad. Yeah, yeah maybe. No, I'm on the one where they start doing the fans that slow you. Yeah. That shit's so fucking annoying. Who are you playing? Uh, Mori. Mori's really good, too. Yeah, she's my she's my favorite. Then she also seems pretty good in the game, so I've just been one-tricking her. So, you should try out uh, Watson. Is Every, it the one with the gun? The gun. I tried her once. I thought it was okay. She's great. I love Watson so much. Also, the best part about Holocure isn't the actual game. It's the little uh, the little Animal Crossing thing they have going on. Have you tried that yet? The fucking farm have simulator? Have you tried to like repeat quick on one of them? If you go over to one of the other like characters and you start clicking on them a lot, it they will make pissed. them mad. And then they'll run away and they'll leave the area. Yeah, I learned that. Oh yeah, one. I haven't really played the, the farm simulator. It's the best part. And uh, what you can do is, is uh, you can farm it. I'm not going to, you take two to three hours farming that, you'll have every character in the game unlocked. Oh, I thought that the farm simulator was like just a chill thing. I don't know. There was like a purpose Yeah, there's like the a game. meta game to it. Yeah, just fish. Oh. Just fish for two, three hours. You have every character in the game unlocked. And that's, that's when I think the real fun starts. Because then you can actually just, you know, do what you want to do. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll go fishing. Yeah, and then once you unlock all the characters... Playing for certain characters, doing certain things, unlocks you certain items. Jesus. It's crazy. Yeah, I don't, I definitely don't have all the items. I was trying not to spoil anything, but I looked up like what item, item you need to like collab. Yeah. Because yeah. I was like, I can't figure out like what the fuck to combine with this. And I saw that there's like other weapons there's I don't a, have yet. There's a menu in game that just shows you. It's not cheating at all. No, but the menu only shows ones that you've already done. At least for me. Oh, uh, maybe that's how it works now. Yeah, it only shows ones that you've already like figured out. Just get the butt plug and um, the bomb. No, it's the, it's, the, it's the butt plug and the other one, and the laser beam. Butt plug and laser beam. It makes a fire fire beam. It's fucking crazy. <laughs> it is stupid good. I didn't really? know it was a butt yeah. plug at first until my stream told me, and I was like, oh no. <laughs> yeah, I, th I think I think it's Coco's butt plug or some shit. I think. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's a good ass game. It's a really good game. I would, it has no business being as good as it is. Yep. I'll tell you that. Like, there are some of these new games that come out that are like really small scale and they are so fucking amazing. I get a, a, just astonished by it, honestly. Yeah, I wish there would be a new really good 2D Yo, like story game. I Did you play Blasphemous? That shit is actually crazy. Like, I played it. It's like a. That sounds really familiar. Yeah, it's so fucking good, man. Like, I played the second one. I went back. I played the first one. I'd say if you're going to play it, I'd say play the first one first. It's a story game? Uh, it's like a, imagine Dark Souls in like Super Nintendo 2D graphics. Oh. Wait, wait, when did this come out? Uh, Blasphemous 1 probably came out, what, 2019, 2020, something like that. And then the new one came out, I think, this year, at the beginning of the year. And you've played this? I played both of them. What chat thing? What? What did chat think? They think the game's cool or no? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's bad for viewership, but you know, it's I don't a good give a game. Fuck. I, yeah, fuck them. And uh, yeah, it's really good. Fuck, I might play this shit today. What yeah, the hell? Yeah, it's actually really, really good. It's such a good game. I'm also looking for a really good story game. Before it I get to that. It has a great story, but it has a good... The way that you learn about the story from Blasphemous is you watch the YouTube video. Oh, so like, yeah. so like Dark Souls? Exactly. Okay. By the way, I saw that you've been playing the fuck out of Cyberpunk. So that shit is so good. Like, so did y'all both play uh, Starfield? Mm -hmm. No. So, um... It was bad. Yep, that's why. So I didn't play yeah, it. yeah. Basically, it was bad, and uh, I played Cyberpunk, and it was like, um, 
Oh, fuck. Like, I'm trying to think of, like, a, a way to explain this. Um, fuck. Like, it's like you ever go, it's like, you, like, Taco Bell is, like, pretty good, right? Now, let's say you only can eat McDonald's hamburgers, right? Yeah. That's the only hamburger you can ever have. You've never had anything else besides that. Then you go and you get five guys. And you say, what the fuck? I didn't even know a hamburger could be this good. It could right? when you paid 10 times the price. Yeah, and it's $23 <laughs> because you got a small. And uh, yeah, no, you're right. And so cyberpunk, like I really, like I, I had convinced myself that I thought that story games just weren't for me. No, I like story games. Story games are really nice. It's just, I didn't give a fuck. Up. The story in Starfield, I cannot, like, there is no amount of dicks that is large enough to express the amount of dicks that it sucks. This is, boring. is it really that bad? It's super, it's, imagine the most boring, like the story was written by chat GPT. Damn. I did cut, I watched like an hour of it on release day. And it felt kind of lyric, I think. Okay, good. And I, I kind of felt like uh, one of those stories that's just like so fucking drawn out. It's like impossible to follow. It's so bland. Like I, like I, I like mayonnaise would be spicy compared to the Starfield story. Fuck, I love mayonnaise though. I don't. It's disgusting. I oh. like mayonnaise. I think it's the best condiment. You said spicy. You ever had sriracha mayo? Yeah. Like on a sandwich? Yep. That's so fucking good. I, if we do an episode where you guys come to my house to eat, I'm going to make you guys my sandwiches. I, oh, I genuinely think when I get to cook for y'all that I will make y'all some of the best food you've ever had. All right. In your whole life. I'm excited. Okay. I fucking love cooking. I'm excited. There's a reason why I got, you know how I got to 330 pounds? By eating my own cooking. There you go. <laughs> That's sick though. Dude, oh my God. It was bad. I hope you guys like the, the sandwich because I make the sandwich all the time. Dude, I, I made the sandwich for Miz. He said it was like one of the best sandwiches he's ever had. I believe it. So I, I like toast the bread. It's so fucking good. So I'll make a steak one for you. Okay. I usually I'm make down. chicken. Yeah, I'd like that a lot. Cool bread fact. And bread, tip. bread fact. Want to take your bread game to the next level? What? Don't toast it. Air fry it. Oh, air fry it. Bro. Okay, what I usually do is uh, I'll like melt butter on the stove and then toast it like face down. Okay, never mind. Everything tastes better with butter. Fuck the air it, fryer. It does. It yeah. does though. If you're putting butter on that shit, I try. I, I try not to use too much butter though because I'm like, it feels like cheating when you're cooking. You my dad what? will still bring up that time as cook my fucking steak and butter. Okay, that was... Uh, that was disgusting. Yeah. That was the most disgusting thing I've ever seen in my entire life. That's my number one guest right now. Yeah? Asmund's dad. Oh, God. <laughs> Imagine that episode. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, I, I, I can. <laughs> that's, that's the problem. Yeah. Because uh, my dad has been begging to be a guest. Yeah. Since episode, <laughs> he watches every episode, episode uh -huh. one. He is funny as fuck. Yeah. You, know, you know why I want to do that? Why? Because when people meet my dad, I will make a lot more sense to them. Yeah. Because they'll be like, oh, okay. Right. That's that's what he was dealing with. Oh, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> this, I get it now. This fucking guy. Yeah. Uh, you guys should try cyberpunk. Uh, I, you know what? Yeah. I will. You really? A hundred percent. I'd say just at least make a character. You know what you need to do? What? You need to fuck up your sleeping schedule again. Oh, don't worry. It's going to happen. <laughs> okay, thank yeah, God. it's going to happen. It will be. It's a matter of uh, of if, not when. Because my problem is, or is that, that I wake like up good. and I'm like, oh, okay, I'm going to go live. And then I distract myself. So let's see what Asmund's doing. So you're playing Cyberpunk and I'm like, well, maybe I'll wait a little bit. And then I just end up not streaming. Yeah? Yeah, it's you just bad. stream? It worked better when you were streaming nights. I know, I know. I feel bad because sometimes I'll be in people's time slots, you know, and like uh, my streams have been doing really well. Like I've been getting like over 30K viewers, like yeah. just doing fucking nothing. Dude, <laughs> doing do you know, nothing. Do you know how stoked I was when it was me and you react to Honkai Star Wars Legend at the same time? Yeah, that was crazy. I was that sounds fun. Dude. Am I yeah. the one also who thinks the time slot thing is lame? I don't give a fuck about time slots. Well, well, I know you yeah. don't, that's, but, that's, but a lot is, of people do. But it, it, yeah, you can think you're lame, but it's a, it is what it is. It's true. Yeah. No, it was like it was like me and Asmund, and then there was just like nobody else. It yeah. was it was just fuck. It was dope. I also had like <laughs> both chats pulled up. I, well, no, I had, I had four chats pulled up. I had me, Asmund, and then my two other buddies who stream Hunk Guy Star Rail, and seeing all the reactions is really cool. But the reason why I like watching your chat is it's because it's they so much different. Game. Yeah, they don't play the game. It's so different. <laughs> Why are all the characters underage? <laughs> what the hell is this? 
what's this weeb <laughs> shit? I, hey, does anybody else miss whenever asthma wasn't a fucking weirdo? Yeah. <laughs> Man, Final Fantasy should change him. Yeah. Oh, fuck. And now, a word from our sponsors. Hey guys, my first ever merch drop is here and available over at otknetwork.com. The collection includes two oversized comfy hoodies that come in pastel and charcoal, a shirt that comes in pink, mint, or charcoal, a collared crew neck, and a pair of pajama pants, of course. All seven products are custom made, so they weren't like built off a template or anything. All the pieces are completely made from the ground up, from the fabric to the Stitch Buddy logo, everything is custom made just for this collection. It's all color matched, so everything goes together. My favorite items are the crew neck with the collar and the pants, of course. They're super comfortable and you can check them out along with the rest of the collection by using the link in the description or head to otknetwork.com. What, what do you think about doing a podcast with Zeppla? I'd, be, I'd love that. I think Zeppla's great. Yeah, I think that'd be awesome. Yeah, she's, that, a, she's a ball of sunshine. Who's that? Honkai creator? Uh, and, and Final Fantasy. So Zeppla... Um, it sounds familiar. Yeah. So Zeppla, she made Final Fantasy fourteen content for quite a while, and then uh, lived in Ukraine. That was a problem, and oh. so uh, oh, now she's in the that. U.S. Yep, and uh, had to get uh, like her shit got looted, like everything. Like she was actually like very negatively impacted by it. Oh wow! I mean, her and, shit got looted. Like her house in Ukraine got looted. Looted. Yeah, looted and scooted. Yeah, yep. actually looted. Like not you know fucking video game shit, but the real thing. Yeah, and uh, then. Uh, she started playing Genshin Impact. And then next thing you know, she's in a hot tub with While all of her Genshin? clothes on, wearing blue jeans, <laughs> doing spins no. in Genshin for a with new the character. Jeans? You're kidding. Like that, that game. Jeans? And so that game, uh, that game really fucked her up. Did you ever and see where I did a Genshin back pulse? And if I lost 50 50, someone would throw an egg at me while I was naked in my bathtub. Why is it that, like, every time that you want to do spins for a game, it always ends up with you taking your clothes off? <laughs> you know what's crazy? Every time I've taken my clothes off, I've won the 50 50. Oh, it's true. I remember the seal. I wasn't naked for zeal because I was clothed for zeal. Well, I mean, they don't know that. It's not like they're going to see you from the waist down. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. My yeah. <laughs> Never mind. I'm not going to go. That's so funny. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, my my buddy M Tash, he hates it. Yeah, he makes fun of me every time. He's like, I'm not gonna, I'm not this desperate for content. Oh, this yeah. guy's a loser taking his clothes off for Kafka. I'm like, all right, he's lost every fifty fifty. I've really? won every single one. Wow, fuck him, dude. I don't care. I'm trying to remember like the last time I even lost a fifty fifty. It was a long time ago. I forgot. You you can't lose fifty fifty. No, you you can't. Yeah, you can't. I, you're, gonna, you're just it's just delaying the inevitable. Yep, that's right. Although I'm pissed off because I haven't seen you pull in forever. I pulled for a food Sean on stream. Can you like DM me? Okay. okay. Just DM I'll, me when I'll, you're gonna pull. I'll DM you when I pull for Jingwu. Please do, because I would like to watch with my stream. Are you gonna I get a cry whole whenever you get her this time? Probably not. Not again. I mean, it's gotta be the right one, you know. I don't know. You know what I think y'all should do? Just What's to make that? it feel more fair to me. Just put a cap on how much you can spend, and then if you don't get her, then you can't spend. Only two thousand dollars. How about only a <laughs> thousand? Uh, That's I, at least four copies. I've gotten every character with under that. <laughs> okay, because I I spent a thousand dollars, and with the exact last poll, I got a C six Nivellet and his tome. This is Genshin back, not Honkai Saro. I so that's the, the one time. you allow yourself to, to, to wail in? Yeah, Genshin I'm down. My account's already ruined. Yeah. He's also one of the coolest characters ever made. He does Hydro Pump and a Kamehameha for his moves. It's fucking nuts. He's so sick. I always thought that I hated turn-based until Persona. But now that I've played Honkai... You the Persona? Thought, yeah, I love Persona. And then the, now that I've played Honkai, the thought of going back to Genshin combat sounds so boring to me. Even though Honkai is like technically less action How and like it, it's automated. How can you possibly say that? I've watched you play it. You're auto-playing. I auto-play on stream because I'm doing just chatting in the Honkai Star Rail section. Yep. I'm just saying, like, I mean, I, I feel like turn -based... Honestly, off stream, I, I don't really like to autoplay. Really? You uh, play the well, game yourself? Like unless, a loser? Unless I'm farming, <laughs> and then I'll literally just do, like, the start thing, autoplay, and then I'm, like, doing whatever well, else. What are you not farming? What do you do besides farming? There's, like, the story quests, or, like, simulated universe bosses, I feel like. 
You have to use them. You, what do you characters suck that much? You can't, you can't autoplay those? No, I could autoplay, but it's like... The auto I'm going to autoplay rank sometimes. five swarm, by the way. You did that for uh, auto... You did four now on auto? Yeah, it's whenever I hit the 2.8 million. Yeah, that was a big fucking hit. That was a good day. I'm going to be very sad because right now I'm like, oh, only four? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see how you do in five. Yeah. I, I'm on five right now. I haven't tried yeah. in a while. I also have never beaten Memory of Chaos, which I probably should because yeah. I can. I just don't want to. You don't want it for sure. Yeah. There's a lot of games like that for me. Okay. But let me tell you why I don't want to. Yeah. Okay. Because like at that point, no, I'll tell you why. Like, here's why, guys. Yeah. Can you it's beat because the game? The content's over. Right. And it's like, so you want to keep this, you want to keep the ball rolling. You want to always have like that next thing because, like, if you actually beat the game, like, everybody's like, oh, okay, it's over now. Yeah. Right. And so you always keep shit. There's always something that you don't have, something you don't get. Like, I did this with WoW forever. And I remember one of the worst days of my life was I got a mount that I've been trying to farm for for six months. Bro, I said, what the fuck am I going to do now? Wait, which mount? The Huan. Hulan. It's a dragon, no? It's a dragon. It is. And it's from... The Timeless Isle. Oh, oh God. It's been an hour. Ew. I got to pee. Yeah. That's a, that's a... Wait, is that the black one? Yeah, it's the black, uh, uh, like a lightning one. Dude, sure? I shit you not when I tell you I have that. Really? And yeah, And I course. believe I got it in like the first like... Probably like really early. Like yeah. very early. So much of I didn't even know it was that rare. Uh -huh. it's, it's not that rare. Is you were just getting unlucky? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was not a not a good time for me. Yeah, because I think the, I think the hardest thing for me was a uh, time loss proto Drake. Oh yeah, I, got, I remember I got that one. Yeah, I have that one as well. Yeah, I did not enjoy that grind at all. I just sat there for like I mean that was I remember whenever I got it, I wasn't going to school and I was like unironically a neat and it was so yeah. great, dude. I loved being a neat. Yeah. Like I was like 21. Like being a neat at age 21 is one of the greatest feelings that you can ever have. <laughs> because like it, it's like you're young enough to where like it doesn't really matter that you're a loser, right? Because I remember like whenever I was like 26, it's like, man, you really are a loser. You know, your friends are getting married and you're not doing anything. And like it kind of feels bad. But like whenever you're 21, right? It's like your parents are like, good for you. You're staying inside. You're not getting drunk and, you know, crashing another car or something. And so, uh, yeah, I mean, being a neat at, le at age, I was going to say level 21. Um, level age, 21. Yeah, at, uh, at age 21 is one of the best things you can do for yourself. I see nothing wrong with that. When I was, uh, when I was a kid, I felt very pressured to get into a relationship early. Because yeah. I was like, oh, all my friends are doing it. But like almost every single friend who was in a relationship at that age is no longer in that relationship anymore. Right. So I figured like, I don't think it's bad to wait at all because eventually when you know yourself this much, I mean, you're what, 33 now? Okay. Wait, how old Sorry. were you? When Sorry, I missed this since I just What's got up? back. You're saying like at that age, I felt pressured? Oh yeah, pretty much my entire life, I wanted like break records in my family. Right. So I was like, oh, okay. What's the context of this being in a relationship? Yeah. So my dad was like, his longest marriage was like 13 years. And I was like, okay. okay. So I want to beat that. So I, I, didn't, I didn't give a fuck who too? it was. I was like, I'm going to get into a relationship. I'm going to beat the record. Are you going to try to beat his divorce record too? <laughs> hey, I'm almost there. <laughs> <laughs> my, yeah. my dad's been divorced seven times. Jesus. That's yeah. a lot. You know what's crazy? Yeah. And I mean this genuinely yeah. on my life. I uh, know he's my dad. Yeah. Okay. I really feel like he just got unlucky. Yeah, yeah, bro. Like, you know how women are. You know, hey. Well, look, okay, why do you say he got unlucky? If you if you can because say. Because my dad is genuinely a great human being. Oh, yeah, for sure. Like, he's a good dude. One of his other marriages, you want to know how it ended? So, and I was there for this. I was in fourth grade. Okay. Dad gets back from being deployed. All right. Stepmom comes in and says, Mike. Oh, my day at work was awful, right? Didn't even say welcome back from deployment, Jeez. okay? He's laying down on the couch yeah. and he says, oh, I'm so sorry, sweetie. I'm just so tired. I just got back. Is it okay if we talk about this in the morning? And then I just hear shit getting thrown around and then I hear her screaming, punched my dad in the face eight times, broke nine of his teeth. Damn, that's crazy. Straight up. Straight up. Because you know what my dad's problem was? What? He made way too much money way too early and attracted the wrong people. Really? And he didn't know better. Damn, that yep. sucks, dude. Yep. That actually sucks. It does. Wow. 
Wow. The Make same it. thing happened to my dad, kind of. He was engaged to someone else before my mom and my whole fucking family hated her, but he he broke it off with her. Like, maybe your dad just needed, like, people that were there to, like, be like, no. Well, maybe now, he didn't. now my dad's, like, 74. My dad has been divorced twice, uh, so not really quite as many times. My dad's yeah. never been divorced. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Wow, must be nice. There you go. So, yeah, uh, the first one, he said the last time he saw her that she was getting wheeled into, like, a mental institution or something. Oh, like my that. God. There you go. So, like, yeah, he said she was nuts. Like, he, uh, at one point, like, he would only date girls with, like, one name. Uh, that way, like, if he got drunk, he'd never call the other one, right? He'd never say the wrong name. Yeah. He had, he had four of them on the hook at the same time. That's okay. I asked him about it. Yeah. Your dad's fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Your dad is so cool. <laughs> <laughs> Just, uh. Occasionally, like, I mean, whenever I was a kid, they would, like, sometimes, like, women would call him up and he would pick up the phone and they'd be yelling at him <laughs> and he would just put it back down. <laughs> just put it back down. He's like, all right, let's go. Bro. And it's just like, it wasn't even like, it was just like a, you know, wrong phone number or something yeah. like that. Dude, I don't think people get how awesome it is to have like awesome fucking parents. Because uh. those are the things that are going to shape you for forever. Like, I love it, man. Like, obviously, don't get me wrong. Me and my dad, I'm sure you and your dad have ups and downs. My I'm dad's sure. a fucking asshole. But I bet he's also dope. He's a good guy. And in I bet a lot he's of ways. your asshole. Yeah. You see that? <laughs> yeah, but he's a fucking asshole. See, my dad's an asshole too, but I wouldn't train him for the world. Yeah. You know, yeah. we've had our ups and downs. Bygones be bygones. I fucking love that guy. The most consistent person in my life. I love yeah. that fucking dude. Oh, yeah. I mean, I think it's uh, it's very, very lucky. But uh, yeah, we were talking about Neats. Were you mm -hmm. ever like just a straight up neat? Yeah, right now. <laughs> I wouldn't say I am right now, but no, yeah, like, there, there was a yeah. point where like I wasn't making like crazy good money off streaming and I would never go outside. No, I mean like no money. You not you don't have a job. No money. Le legit, all you fucking do is whatever the fuck you want to do. Oh, no. I, really? I, I was wow. already streaming before I graduated high school and like... Oh, shit. Yeah, I looked for jobs when I was done and then I decided to just stick with streaming. I also did college for a bit. So I've, I've never been a neat then. Yeah, I think I was a neat till I was 25. From I, like 18 to 25? Oh, well, pretty much. Well, I'd probably say even before that because I never took education seriously at all. Like neat's like what? Never educated, though. No? Not no, in no, education, you, employment, or training. So I don't. You can't yeah, really be I mean, a neat in high school because it's like yeah. I was. You're not responsible for yourself anyway. I guess that's because well, you're like, in education. So even yeah. the shit that I was training for, I was only doing it to delay the inevitable. I was never going to use it. I was yeah, never going to, I, I was the same way. Yeah, I was like, yeah, sure. I was getting a degree, but like I knew I wasn't going to use it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is like fill. This is filler content. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm like, All I right. feel like neats are the Western version of monks. Go into that. How does the average, sorry, how does the average adult need like survive? Like they either live with their parents or collect uh, unemployment? Welfare, stickers. It's, so, actually, it's actually a lot easier to live by yourself with no money than you might think. Because I've done it. It really wasn't that hard. You just, did you have this, you got that, you got the medical program. Uh, for, had, for me, it was just food stamps. Yeah. How did you and, pay for internet and stuff then? Uh, oh, it's really not that much. Like, okay, like so you live in a house. Back then, it was like 40 bucks. Yeah, so you live in a house with multiple other people. Yeah. And then you split the rent. And so it's like 200, right? Yeah, Something and like then yeah. like, the big thing that I would do is like, I would be the one to rent the place, but then I would charge my roommates enough to where they pay for the whole rent and I wasn't paying anything. Yeah. By just not That's telling them how much the landlord lifestyle. Was. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's like, it's like, oh, the rent's too, I'm paying 2,000 for the rent, guys. Right? So you give me 1,200, or you give me 800, you give me 800. And then I'll pay the other 400 since I paid for it. Or so it's actually only 1600 Yeah, exactly. And then they Fuck. pay for everything. Yeah. Right. That's pretty much what you do. And they just don't show anybody anything. Yeah. You never want them to know about that. Yeah. And then uh, I, you scalp. You buy a shirt off Goodwill for $5. And then you resell it online for $20. Facebook Marketplace. Yep. Yeah. Like, dude, I can't tell you, like, going to, going to Goodwill for, like, American Eagle and Hollister and Amber Crombie and Fitch like they would charge like $3 for a shirt and then you could literally vendor it the same fucking day. Yeah. Especially in El Paso. Because they used to have like, they used to be, there used to be clothes gangs where if you were to be a part of a gang, you had to wear this brand. Yeah, like Hollister. Yeah. You, you see the Hollister gangs? Uh, Hollister That's gangs? That's crazy yeah. that you know about that. 
Well, yes. it's Texas. Why Hollister? That's, oh, that's, that's crazy. It's I Texas. have no fucking idea why. That's just how it is. That's why. The, yep. the Hollister does not fit that at all. Yeah, but <laughs> that's, that's, that's how what you think, is. right? That's how it is, though. Okay. Yeah. Well, I I, th- I do think that neats are like, because you think about it, right? Like, they don't make any money, right? And I think that's like, that's what monks do, right? Monks don't make any money. Most of them are bald. A lot of monks are bald. I feel like most neats are balding. Yeah. Like, yeah, I mean, let's be real, right? Most neats are balding. None of them have girlfriends. And what, are you, so, what are you doing here, man? Well, I'm just saying, right? <laughs> I do think that, I think that neats are like the Western version of a monk. Okay. So I'm like a monk. Yeah. I mean, you got like the hood on and everything. Yeah, absolutely. That's sick, right? Yeah. I feel like most neats could get a girlfriend. They're They're just like... They just don't see women as like human beings a lot of the time. They're not it's people. It's inefficient to my lifestyle. <laughs> <laughs> I would Dude, date no, a girl, I've, but, I've but they're been, all whores. I've <laughs> been friends with so many girls on like Discord and they're not really neats themselves. Like they usually have a job or whatever, but they date these other guys over Discord that are just like the biggest fucking all losers. Horse. But it's yeah. like they, they like them because they're nice to them. They spend time with them. But then a lot of these like neats, they they just like talk to women like they're like, you know. So, but it's like if they were just nice, then they could probably find a Discord girlfriend. A you Discord know? kitten. Yeah, like <laughs> yes. I don't think it's that hard at all from like what I've seen. Well, the the thing is with Discord kittens, it's about hesitation. You can't have it. The moment a Discord kitten goes up for auction. You have to get them immediately. Yeah, you have right? to, you have you to pay top auction? dollar. So it's like... Well, it, whenever that... Because they'll post I don't, like... Wait, I'm confused well, now. Well, they'll post that they're single or something like yeah, that. Yeah, and that's when the and auction like, begins. immediately DM them. The first person who messages them and it's commits... Like, you know like that Lord of the Rings meets back on the menu, boys? Oh. <laughs> well, I mean, if you're a neat and your reaction time is that bad, maybe you're just not meant to be a neat. I don't know. So I have a friend. I should you not. Successful, handsome, smart, funny... Single his whole life, yeah. never had sex. I'm not gonna say who it is, okay? Because his big thing is seer. Nope, not gonna say that. <laughs> <laughs> is there is I see girls who are interested in him constantly, and he's like, well, I don't know. Yeah. You know, I'll wait, make sure it's right. <laughs> they're they're taken the next day. Right. And he's yeah. like, well, I'll well, get him next time. Yeah. Because he just he never commits on his feelings well, at all. It sounds like he. Just doesn't want it, which is fine. No, he does. Oh, he does. Oh, he does. Oh, then yeah, that sucks. It's very. It sounds like man. maybe he, he's like scared. Uh, yeah, like maybe insecure. you know he's, he's got to commit. Get you get the experience. My thing is, I think it is totally okay to just maybe this is fucked up to say, like you don't have to be a hundred percent sure when you go into a relationship. It, it, I failed. Nobody's a hundred percent sure. What do you mean? Some yeah. people say, but yeah, some isn't people that say, the whole point of dating? Yeah. Is like I don't know if I want to commit to this person. But like, if maybe. Exactly. you're hundred percent sure, why don't you just get married? Exactly. But yeah. some people wait until they're like, I gotta make sure of everything, right? You go in, well, even if it, yeah, even but like what's like you can literally break up with someone in a week, and like it's not a big deal. But to, but to some people, it is. It is. Mm. To some people, like. Getting a divorce, breaking up. I mean, you've seen no, how people it, are. No, it does suck, but I feel like if like they like the person, it's like worth the risk. But I guess to a lot of people, no. Yeah. So like to some people, it's like having to break up with someone is like worse than like death itself. So like I want to make sure of everything. Dude, have you guys had those friends where like they're so unhappy in their relationship and they're like, oh, I want to break up, and it takes them like two fucking years. Yes. And like, I, I know sometimes it's like they're unhappy, but like they're trying to make it work or they're not sure. But a lot of people are just, they just know it's over, but they just don't do anything because they're too scared to break up. Yep. I had a friend like that, like fucking 10 years ago. And like his girlfriend was just like the most obnoxious, like annoying fucking person. And they're married now. Yep. But yeah. I, well, was she just obnoxious to you or did he hate her too? He would get annoyed a lot. He still does. I feel like... I mean, it is at that point. He it can is what it is. Probably get annoyed, but still want to. I mean, well, right? I mean for situations like those, a while. For situations like those, because this is pretty much the it's same. Been thing a while. It is what it is. Well, yeah. it's the sex is probably really good, or it's present, or what? It's present. Yeah. Or present? yeah, it's there. Yeah. Yeah, it's there. Yeah, exactly. It's easier to just like stick with her than get like a new one, right? Because yeah. like you know how I have like my car. 
Yeah. Like, I, mean, I don't want to deal with a new car. You have, uh, yeah. You have sex with your car? No, but I mean, like, <laughs> like a crack uh, I get what you're saying. That's, yeah. that's so sad, yeah. though. But I, I guess for a lot of people, they do have a fear of like never finding someone. So they'd rather just be unhappy with someone than be with a nutball, a, a crazy boy. Isn't that really sad? Yeah. It is really sad. It's pretty much like saying, yeah, I'm going to live a unfulfilled existence. I think about people, some of them, and uh, it's like this is their life, right? Is they wake up and they didn't get enough sleep. Uh, did I ever tell you guys about this shit? Uh, go. I'll tell you if I, I I'll tell you if I it's a rerun. So. Yeah, you used to do reruns. You don't do those anymore. I, I yeah, true. The Chipotle uh, stories. Yeah, yeah, probably. I miss those. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm trying to think if there's any new ones. Honestly, no. Uh, fucking. So you wake up, you don't get any fucking sleep. You're pissed off. You've got to drive to work in a car you don't fucking like. You go to a job with people that you don't fucking like. You hate the job. You hate your fucking boss. You hate your coworkers. You hate the customers. Then you drive home, which pisses you off because of traffic. You finally get home, and then you play a video game that pisses you off, right? You get mad at the video game. I'm talking about League. And uh, <laughs> so, like, the, you go and you do this. And then you go on Twitter and you follow a bunch of accounts that tweet things that piss you off and make you mad. And then you end up staying up late because you're almost about to rank up. And then you lose your rank up naturally. And then you go to bed late. And then you're not going to get enough sleep for the next morning. And then that's the next morning. It just repeats itself. And it's like at a certain point, why are you alive? That's 95% of people listening to this episode right now. You think so? Absolutely. That is the normal human they're experience. Watching, yeah, they're watching it on like their way home like while they're getting mad. I, I think it is absolutely insane how miserable the average human life is. Yeah. That's my opinion. Uh, that's why I consider myself very lucky because there are moments in my life where I'm very happy. That's what's that's fucked. That's so sad. I know. It is. They go to a job they fucking hate. Yeah. They don't I don't like, know if it's 95%. Like, I feel like a lot of people... Maybe I'm pessimistic. I think a lot of people do have days like that where they're like, man, I hate my life. I hate having to do this job I Everything don't want to do. Bad. But they yeah. they won't like choose to spend all their free time on things that they hate. Like, they'll have hobbies or friends that they want to hang out with. I don't know. I think that it's just like people go on the internet. Like, I see these people and it's like all they do is they tweet oh, yeah, and it's, complain it's about shit that makes sure. them mad. Yeah. Like, it's just like, I wonder, like, why do you exist? Like, what's what's this all? <laughs> like, what's, the, what's oh. this all going towards? What's the point of it all? Yeah, I, I had a buddy who was uh, very unhappy in their relationship. Yeah. To her eventually, because it made no sense to me. Right. Because it was like, well, you always say this, and they always do this, and it doesn't seem that good, but you're still with them, so. Right. You know what? Cool with me, man. Mm -hmm. I don't want to waste any more time thinking about it because clearly there's something that I don't get going on. And uh, I think that's for a lot of people's lives. We're like, you you look at them from an outsider's perspective and they're like, they say they don't like this. They say that they hate this. They say they want to leave, but they still stay. So it's just like, okay, well, maybe I'm not getting the full story and I'll just back the fuck up. I don't want to fix everybody's problems. I don't think, like I tell people, it's like, listen, bro, like that sucks. And that's about it, right? I mean, like, yep. you want me to help you fix it? Okay, sure. But, like, most people don't want to fix problems. They just want to talk about them. Yeah. Yeah. That's usually what happens. People don't really give a fuck about actually fixing the problem. You know what's crazy? That's a lot of work. I would love to fix every problem that I had. I just yeah. don't know how. What problem do you have? You know what my problem is? What? You want to get real? Okay. Let's get real. <laughs> I can't tell if I'm fucking crazy or not. Yeah. Because I feel like I'm this way, but then I get told I'm another way my whole right. life. And I can't tell if I'm just fucking nuts. I used to think I was crazy and then I realized I am not crazy. I'm the only person who isn't crazy. Everybody else is crazy. My problem is when I think like that, that makes me feel fucking crazy. It no. makes me feel fucking no. crazy. Think about it like this, right? Yeah. Is that is back, my biggest issue in life. Back in the day, there mm. were people that thought that the earth was flat. Yep. And then some dude, some Greek fuck, goes <laughs> and he gets a stick and he figures out this bitch is round. Yep. And at that point, he's the only person in the world who knows this shit, right? That's true. Everybody else thinks it's flat. Yep. Now, everybody else in the world is fucking stupid except him. That's true. There it is. That's true. <laughs> there it is. 
How long did it take those people to catch on to what the guy was saying? I'll let you know when it happens. Okay. Oh, shit, you're right. <laughs> what the fuck? Jesus. It's just, I don't know if I want to wait that long. You know what I'm saying? Nah, because I was thinking about that. It's like, imagine, like, bro, if there's like a heaven or like an afterlife, imagine being the dude that figured out that the earth was round and then like you get to look down and people still say that shit's flat. <laughs> like, bro, like, we figured this out. Like, yeah. what are you doing? Is there, humor me, is there any way that it is flat? Um... No. Like, what are the big counterpoints to why it's not flat? Yeah. They've literally seen it. Okay. Who? The astronaut. He yeah, lied. But, but what do you mean the astronaut? Well, you mean the paid astronauts? Yeah, well, what, what, what about, on the payroll what of the, about the satellites and shit? From the government? Well, they could put, I mean, like, you but, put a satellite. Okay, but, okay, so I know most conspiracy theories, there's, like, a reason that they've come with for, like, why? Why would the government lie about the Earth being round? Okay. Well, there's a lot of things All the right. government that you really want to know. Yes. Yep. I do want to know. I'm ready. <sighs> because it circumvents the idea of divine creation. Because God at that point is not making people the center of the universe, which means that it is probably random, which means that it takes away the importance of humanity. And because in doing so, it makes it to where it is less likely that it was made by God because it goes against the Bible. The Bible never said anything about that. And that's why. Okay. So going off that, that opens so many other things. So like they don't, they also don't believe in space. So they, I mean, I, I think that a lot of them do, but like not in the same capacity, right? What else? Well, What's the next one? So like, so if they do believe in space, do they believe that like the solar system is like fake or inaccurate? Because it's probably not inaccurate or like it's incomprehensible and like NASA doesn't really know what they're talking about. They're just making it up. So um, like dinosaurs, like for example, mm -hmm. put their um, put there by uh, by Jews, right? That's what they say. They put there by Jews. I had a kid like that. When I was a freshman, we were in science yep. class and we had a teacher. They were put there to test the Christian's faith. I don't even remember what she was talking about. She was talking about evolution or something. And the whole time he was just shaking his head in the back of the he class. Says, no, bro. And like, then she no. starts saying like, yeah. she starts talking about dinosaurs and he's just like, no, they weren't. Yeah. And she's like, what? And he's like, no, they weren't. They're just, they're not real. Like they weren't in the Bible. And she's like, okay. And then. She was like talking about something else, but this kid was so fucking pissed. Dude, this this was so crazy. I remember this kid was you so up religious, in Kansas, right? Yeah, so there's but, a lot of dumb fucks like that. Yes, but yeah. I was in a very developed city, so this was actually very rare. Yeah, but and there's like, still like one or two of them that, that yeah. get through the cracks. Yeah, and we had the same. So thing. this kid was super religious, didn't believe in dinosaurs or evolution. And he like would always like talk about how gay people were going to hell. Two years yeah. later, he comes out as gay and he's an atheist. Really? Mm -hmm. Damn. Yeah. That must have sucked. Yeah. Yeah, it must have been that. Yeah, bro. Like, I wonder what's going on in his head. So I, I wonder if he believes in dinosaurs, though, right? Because I, like, I don't know. You could be because like, it's, it's not that. like yeah. Because still, like, I mean, how the fuck do you have a brontosaurus? When do you ever see a brontosaurus? Do y'all believe in dinosaurs? I think yeah. that there's probably like, yeah, I mean, sure. Why the fuck not? I mean, of course there's a dinosaur. But like, why would a lizard ever get that big? No, nah, no. Nah, you because like, you ever some yeah. of them had feathers? Well, you ever see a bird? Yeah. You ever yeah. see a bird before? Yeah. yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> like, you ever see like a bald eagle, bro? I saw, that, I saw a bald eagle. I thought I was looking at a rare spawn. I said, bro, get the special Pokeball. Like, right now, we got to get him. Bro, like, he's right here. We got to get this bitch. We got to catch him. Like, I, there was a hawk in my backyard one time. And it's like, there are a bunch of other birds, bro. Like, I felt like I was in a wow zone. And like, that's the elite mob. You know, like, you that was it? the elite. No, I didn't get that's it. The fucking hawk. Yeah. What's the endangered species that you would eat? All of them. I'd eat any animal. I don't know that many endangered species. I don't believe Do you, you. have one? Really? Which animal would I not eat? Uh, you are one of the most picky eaters I have ever well, met. because of it That's tastes true. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, listen, listen tastes you bad. won't even eat fish, man, or yeah. shrimp. But like, it, it, I would don't eat Would you eat, eat a it. snake? Alive? No. Oh. 
uh, I don't know. What does it taste like? Snake. I, I like don't if know. It, if it My tastes, mom's eating snake. If it tastes good, I will eat any animal, any meat. Fish tastes okay. good. I'm so sorry. what do you put on your steak? Uh, A1. A1, and it's like salt, and you do like what, salt lemon pepper. pepper? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we just put all that on any meat, it's going to taste the same. I mean, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I'm pretty sure I could probably cook you a cauliflower. That would taste like a steak. Is that right? Yep. I don't know, man. Like, I'm just saying, like, any meat, like, it doesn't matter. I'd eat a cat. What the I would fuck? Eat a cat. Yeah, I'd eat a cat. Absolutely. I would not eat a cat. Really? Why not? Why not? Why not? What because... If, what, if the, what if the cat was an asshole? I would just not want to be associated with the cat. Yeah, I think I would... I think I, oh, would, I wouldn't uh, want... Wouldn't you want to, like, destroy the evidence? Impl that's imply I would kill it. I wouldn't kill well, no, it. No, no, would, no, no. Then what the evidence of what? Well, evidence I mean, of what? Like the cat. I mean, it's just a cat. Like, I mean, if it was a, like you're telling me if it was a life and death situation. No, nah, no, nah, just like in general. So if cats tasted really good, I would fucking eat that shit. I'm going to just say it. Okay, I've heard rabbits honest. taste like, really good. I would never eat a rabbit. Why not? Because I've had emotional attachments to rabbits and it makes me feel weird. What's the weird about it? It's just like thinking so about how like... So you don't never like, seen a cute cow? Yeah, I've but, actually never seen a cute cow. Ever. Like one dude, of the little baby small, cows are pretty one. cute. Yeah. Well, I'm not eating baby cows. Well, what do you think they... What do you, where do you think they came from? Yeah. Look, I have no issue with anyone eating rabbits or whatever. I just personally wouldn't do it. That's, really? that's it. Oh, I do. Just like you wouldn't would personally you? eat a shrimp. Well, I would eat a shrimp if it tasted good. It's they not taste that good. No, they don't. Have you it's ever a fucking you've shrimp? Never you had know what? a shrimp. Actually, if it was killed for necessity and nourishment. Yeah, I'm not saying, bro. I'm not saying okay. to go yeah. into your In neighbor's that case, yard yes, and because kill the cat. I wouldn't want to waste its life. Exactly. To but honor this it, is like this yes. is like an apocalyptic. This is not under normal circumstances. So I saw this really fucked up video. I'm not sure if you guys have seen it. It was on Twitter. It blew up like a couple months ago. This dude put a live kitten into a blender. Oh, oh yeah, no. I heard about that. I, yeah. I, I heard about that, but I didn't think and, it was real. And I'm not in. It, uh, yeah, I'm it not makes in me that. so angry. Really? Why? It's just a fucking idiot. Who cares? Oh yeah, but I want to. You know Bro, what? Like, look at look at what gorillas do. People gorillas like that deserve to die. Yeah, I agree with you. Well, yeah. Gorilla, what, what do gorillas do? They do whatever the fuck they want because they are a gorilla. <laughs> I saw this video of an orangutan. I saw this video of an orangutan. Yeah. And uh, some guy in the zoo threw a head of lettuce to it. Yeah. So this other orangutan came up and pushed it off a cliff. Fuck him, man. <laughs> Fuck him, man. That's, what, that's just the way it is, man. That's the law I read of the jungle. a manga like that recently. A manga? Yeah. You heard it? of Unchained Soldier or Chained Soldier? No. Okay. So what's the manga about? It's yeah, go on, sorry. Blood on the Tracks. It's actually so fucked up. I don't even know if I want to talk about it. It's about this kid whose mom is like fucking insane. Like the most insane mom ever. She fucking kills his cousin because she nice. doesn't like that he's spending so much time with his cousin. Smart. Yeah, and like this, this, his mom like abuses him for all of his childhood. And then he grows up and like lives a life away from her. And then uh, she has dementia, so he has to take care of her again. But he can only think of her when she abused him. So he still sees her as this, like, in her 30s, like, beautiful woman. And mm -hmm. it's like, this fucking, like, it's a psychological horror. It's fucking horrible. Oh, jeez. What the fuck? That's crazy. Oh, here it is. What Look is at this? this. Look at this. Watch. Okay. Throws a lettuce to the monkey. Happy monkey. He gets lettuce. Hey, That's fuck it. you, bitch. Because you know why. <laughs> because you know why. Here's the reason why. Look at that big boy that does it, right? Yeah. So, like, look at this scrawny-ass little bitch thinking that he's the king yep, of the fucking pack. Boy. Bro, he pushed him down. You know why? <laughs> to remind that little bitch that he is not the alpha. He is not the fucking alpha. He you said, think, no, you're not. Hurt the you monkey? are the beta. I feel like that's a pretty big fall. You think he's dead? Nah, nah, it's a gorilla. Okay. Man. It's an orangutan. I'm so in. manga yeah. recommendation. This is coming to anime pretty soon for y'all. It's called Chain Soldier. Chain Soldier. Yeah, what the hell so, is that? So pretty much, uh, it's this dude, and he goes to find this girl. And this girl can grant him powers to so that way that this dude can fight for her. Okay? okay. So she buffs him up. The guy has to do some crazy shit to save them. So it's like Dark Souls. Right? But then after the battle, yeah. the girl must repay him with sexual favors to whatever he had to do to win the fight. So it starts off small. And right. this isn't a hentai. This is just an actual show. Just an anime. Uh -huh. Right? And so the first thing he does is 
it draws out the deepest primal urges yeah. that he wants. Right. And so he has like, the girl shoves his foot in his mouth. Oh, really? And that's I, cute. This will be one of the next big animes that's coming out. Oh, you think they're going to make it an actual anime? Oh, no, it already is. The synopsis is why normal people think all all people that watch anime are freaks. Yep. Yeah. Wonder why? Because they are. They are. Yeah. Okay. They 100% are. No, you know what? I want. I wanted to tell you this. Oh, Ever wait. since I watched the One Piece live action, I like am like low key invested in One Piece now. Like every time I see a One Piece post, even if it's like from the manga, I'm like interested. So you don't hate it anymore? I actually kind of want to read it. Yeah. Wow. I am telling you this unironically, and I never recommend people to read One Piece. I would now recommend to read One Piece. Because the, the live action was like actually crazy marketing for the series, I feel like. Yeah. Because I I never feel this way about like actors or like celebrities. Like, you know how like there's those Twitter people like, oh, I love my little K-pop group. Every time I see that group of One Piece actors, I'm like, bro, they're so cute. They make me so happy. Yep. No, I, they, I love them. They're the, great. The show for live action was great for what it was. It's obviously it is a bad Cliff Notes version of the actual show, but it's still very enjoyable otherwise. But everything, because I've read One Piece since it started, everything that they've built up to is now coming to, like, fruition. Like, it's it's happening. Yeah, yeah. Current One Piece manga is the best it has ever been in history for me. That's crazy. Asmund, it's nuts. I, I mean, I, I, was, I, was, I felt like a kid again reading the current arc because there's this thing that happens with the admirals and now the Admiral's thing is happening again. And it is so cool. Because there's one thing that I really love is when like, you know, you're, you're, you're in an anime, the, the team gets overpowered by all these very strong guys, time skip happens, and now they're fighting again at a different power level. And it is so fucking cool. Because Luffy at the beginning of the series to Luffy now, he's like, the, he's pretty consistent personality-wise. But power-wise, it is fucking crazy. Like, like okay, so the Luffy, you know, what's the craziest thing that you know that Luffy can do? Um, well, I do know about like the Toon Force shit, yep. like the the white hair bullshit. Right. I mean, in in the in the show, the craziest thing he did, I mean, it's really not that much. He's just a stretchy motherfucker. I don't know. That, right. Yeah. So, like, how does he get from that to what he is right now? And the journey of that is insane. Like. The big thing, do you know who Ace is? No. I'm not going to say that then. Never mind. Ace is a great character. You're going to like him a lot. And now I really want you to read One Piece. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to read One Piece so bad. Oh, man. Uh, but yeah, you should read it. And I think you'll like it. And you know what's crazy? People will tell you it'll take you forever to get caught up. No, it won't. It'll probably take you about two to three weeks of solid reading. That's a while. It's that really not that much, though. That is, that's a long time. But it's like two to three weeks that you're going to enjoy. Okay. You know? Yeah. Don't didn't watch you, it. Didn't you read Homestuck? Yep. I'm just bringing that up because they're both super fucking long. Yeah, no, Homestuck was great. Homestuck was great until it stopped being great. Yeah. I, uh, I kind of, Homestuck went off the deep end when Gamzee went off the deep end and just killed everybody. And then I'm like, all right. That's around the time I stopped caring, too. Yeah, 100%. Because, you know, there was like Car Cat and uh, Vriska. Briska was super yeah, hot. Yeah, I mean, in the, the, day. the new characters were okay. I didn't really care about any of the new trolls. Yeah. The yeah. new humans were okay. It's when the fucking alien guy got introduced. I was like, I'm not reading this the anymore. The green motherfucker? Yep. Yeah, I, I was like, I don't know what's going on. Yep. I used to go to my library in high school and I would read that shit it's every time. It's crazy day. because that's like one third through the story. I have no idea what could possibly happen. You know what really pissed me off? You know the the, the dude? I think his name is Dave. Dave, yeah. And his older brother? Uh, Dirk. Yeah, when he died. I was like, fuck this. I'm good. He was my favorite. Dirk was so fucking sick. Don't read Homestuck. It's not worth it. No. What is it? Uh, it's like this old, really, really, really old MS like paint adventure that was like. It's a webcomic. Yeah. Okay. It's an old one. It's just, it's a really bad. It just sucks dick now. Yeah. It's, it, it's also like from the same era slash vein of fandoms as like My Little Pony, yep. I want to say. Ooh. Yeah. But it wasn't that weird. It was yeah. really wasn't that weird. So it's like, like it was me reading when I was like 17, 16. Yeah. But it's it, like it was weird, like weird stuff would happen, like stupid shit, but it wasn't weird like degenerate sexual stuff. Yeah, there was like uh. no I don't think there was any sexual stuff, right? Not that I ever heard of. I mean, Gamzee had like a dick pocket, but that's like it. <laughs> it was more so funny. Yeah. 
It was like cringe, but mostly wholesome cringe, I'd say. Speaking of wholesome cringe, can I read some YouTube comments? Yeah. Right. Ah, uh, here we go. Oh my God. This guy is slurping you. Talking one. <clears throat> Asmogold, the literal God. First off, wanted to say, incredible podcast. Y'all three are a combo I didn't know I needed, but now I love. I enjoy listening to the podcast while farming Tusk of Manoroth <laughs> on my 567th try. That sounds so familiar. Uh, well, uh, so Tusk of Manoroth is a shoulder drop from Garrosh Hellscream on heroic That's and right. mythic mode. I think it also drops on normal. I'm not 100% sure now. I don't think it actually does. Yeah, it's just heroic and mythic. Yeah. Very rare. Uh, it's about a 1% uh, chance of dropping. So 567 attempts. That's awful. So if you have a trial, the chances of running a trial with about, I, th I think he's getting into like the 80th percentile of unlucky outcomes because at about 880, somewhere around there, 800s, you get into the 99th percentile of certainty of a 1% chance occurring. That is fucking miserable. Anyways. So he's got 300 more to go. There you go. <laughs> or on my way to work. Been watching Asmongold for years and it's awesome to see him out of his den for once. Five stars. Keep killing it, y'all. That makes one of us. Three more comments. Sleep deprived Asmund's humor is way more dry than usual and I love it. This is the most ADHD episode of all time. I'm so glad to be represented. Asmongold, pissing in the shower is gross. Also Asmongold, I never clean my shower. Well, that's why pissing it. Yeah, that's the point. Yep. You don't need to clean it because you're not pissing in it all the time. You know what's crazy? <laughs> I was taking a shower and I pissed on myself. And then I thought, you know what? Maybe I wouldn't mind somebody pissing on me. Really? I would. Just wanted to share that with the class. Let's find a postcard. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, these are the Patreon exclusive postcards. There you go. Wait, should we sign all of them or we sign one? Uh, I don't know. I, I, we can, I can sign one. You want to sign all three? Just back to back to back? Give, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Okay, I'll do it right now. Bro, these look fucking awesome, by the way. Yeah. These look really <laughs> That's good. That's the pick I took on my uh, my phone that folds in half. Which is this Wojak? So you got that yeah. foldy phone. Like, is it messed yeah. up or like No, I, I actually love it. Really? Yeah. Nah, why is it bent though? I mean, you can't really what see it when you're looking at it. What the hell is that desktop? What, what the hell is that? Like, oh, I got, I got this like... Is that that So from, it's supposed uh, to look like a flip phone, but it's like... Let me see it again. It's like an evil magical girl theme one. Nah, that shit's from uh, that one game. What game? Um, Needy, Needy Streamer? Streamer Overload, it yeah. does kind of look like it. Wait, look at my my small screen. Let me see. Oh my god. That actually is really nice. I, I love this. Yeah. I still use my iPhone though, because I, I prefer the camera. So what do you use? Wait, you have two phones? Yeah, but I only use the iPhone for like cosplay stuff. Oh, wow. Whoop. I love getting to this point of the podcast because I, I don't eat before these things. Yeah. And I'm like, I usually light don't either. You're thinking about eating? I'm, bro, I'm so fucking hungry. It's ridiculous. I'm hurt. What are you going to eat? I have no idea. Probably something healthy. I'm going to try at least. That's hard though, man. Eating healthy takes forever. It's more expensive. It's like the world wants you to get fat, get diseases, and die. Probably because it does. If everybody was healthy, I feel like the world would be a much worse place. There'd be too many people, more wars. But people's mental health would probably also be better, so they'd probably do less stupid shit. That's what you'd think, right? What about it? No, like, it wouldn't be a significant drop, but just, like, ever so slightly. I don't know what you're saying, so I agree. Okay. You're that <laughs> hungry, huh? <laughs> I'm so fucking hungry. Oh, my God. Also, I was looking at the... Uh, I gave the guy the card, the magic card that y'all signed a couple weeks ago. Uh -huh. Man, y'all's signatures look like kindergartners wrote it. What the fuck's it supposed to look like? I don't know. Nice. Unique. I thought that they were supposed to look scribbly. I have no idea. I'd like draw I don't think mine shit. looks bad at all. I think mine's cool. Are you writing cursive or print? Um, I kind of do I kind of do the E in cursive, but the rest is print. Okay. I remember just being like, in fourth grade, when they tried to teach me cursive, I was like, there's no way in fucking hell I'm learning this shit. There's no way. How come? What's up? What are you looking at? <laughs> I can't read Asmund's at all in this one. 
as much. You misspelled your own name, bro. No, he didn't. A S M O N G O. Didn't he put asthma gold? No, that's an O. It's what just like, it's kind of at an angle. That's asthma gold. <laughs> that's well, a, it was a lightning Whoever gets this one, it. it's a rare collectible. So. There you I go. on the picture, too. No, you. What'd he do? <laughs> bro, you put a dick in my mouth. Bro. Wait, he did it on all of them. You're fucking kidding me, dog. What the fuck? Yo, yeah. Emmy, wait. Guess, give, give Emmy the Sharpie. Oh, God. Stop sniffing it. Give it. Yo, give give, give, Asman, a, give, Asman, give Asman a unibrow. Okay. You can do just, it. Just to make it fair. I will not participate in the war. I'll spectate from the sidelines. Yeah. Dude, that's so... Do it yourself. I can't. <sighs> then it's not happening. Yeah, I've grown past the point of conflict. Oh, that. shit. Hey, can we all take a moment to just acknowledge something? What? When was the last time you ever heard I was involved in drama? Frankly, I've never heard about you being involved in drama, except for like, I'll see on Twitter, you're like, guys, why are you being stupid? And I'm like, yep. he's going through a time, but that's it. Asman? The last time you, you heard were- I was involved in the drama. Last time you were involved in drama. That I caused a problem, that I did something. Um, I've never heard that directly, at least. You said on the Honkai Star Rail subreddit that you yeah. fucked somebody's mom and oh, you yeah. got banned. That yeah. was the oh, last yeah. time you had drama. And would we consider that serious drama? I would not. Yep. See that? Look at that. Hey, Genji community, suck my fucking dick. There we go. Well, now we have new drama. <laughs> <laughs> they won't watch it this far. They're, they're kids. Their attention yeah. span's not this long. It's fine. It's been good. I've been relaxing, and I cannot tell you how much more human I feel. Life is so good right now, it's crazy. Really? Yep. Why? I, I love everything about my life right now. That's great. I hope it stays like this. Because if it doesn't, <laughs> fuck, bro. <laughs> I don't want to go back, man. What could go wrong? I really don't think anything. Yeah. Let me think. I could blow up. Yeah. I go to the hospital, they tell me I have cancer. That Ooh, would suck. That would be bad. Yeah. That would be bad. Yeah, that, that could always happen though. If I do, I, want, I give you guys permission to like farm Did my- Did you guys uh-huh. see that Kaede's off chemo? Yeah, she is. Really? Yeah, she is. So well, she's, she's in remission? I, I, I don't know too much about that type of thing, but I, I would think so, yeah. I mean, most people come through from that shit, especially if they're younger. Oh, that's fucking incredible. How yeah. old's Kaede? She's like, like 22, 23, right? Yeah, she's pretty young. Yeah. That makes me so fucking happy. Yeah, yeah, I saw that the other day. Good for her. Yeah, actually, good for her. That's incredible. Holy shit. See? Life's good right now. Yeah. You know, the world ain't so bad after all. There's a new world expansion coming out tomorrow. It's going to be great. I can't wait. If it's good, would you tell me? Because I would actually play the fuck yeah, out of yeah, it's good. I'll let you know. I'll let you know how it is. Oh, dude, I actually can't wait. New World is so... You think it's too late to get back in if it's good? Uh, it's a reset, kind of. So, like, I wouldn't... Yeah, It's a reset? It's not really, but it's kind of a reset. It's like a WoW reset. You know, it's like a level... You know, okay. more levels. Okay. Like that. Yeah. Actually, you know what? I ain't gonna fuck with PvP regardless. I don't think it really matters. I'm not trying to sweat. Yeah. I just think that having a new game to play with my homies would be sick as fuck. Although, then again, I just want to play Magic. The new set's coming out, and I can't wait. It's Jurassic Park. Why? I don't know. But it's cool as shit. Okay. There's a card, eight mana, 12-12. We'll talk about this next time. This is a great <laughs> episode of Stay <laughs> <Yeah. United. laughs> We'll talk about it on the Patreon. The next Check week out the Patreon, guys. It's our special, I think. There you go. Dude, you know what my favorite part of this episode was? Your incredible merch that we can get Thanks. at. OTKnetwork.com. Very cool. There it is. All right, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Really appreciate it. And we'll see you all in the next one. Peace. Yes. Then you turn and you look at me There's a little glimmer that I can see A sparkle in your eyes It makes me realize All we need is you and me A light shines from your eyes It brightens in a cloudy What's the fattest shit y'all do? Where you say, wow, I'm fucking, I'm a lard ass.
So you go to KFC and you can get the 12 piece or the 20 piece chicken strip bucket and it comes with two <laughs> sides. Yep. And you've got obviously double mashed potatoes in there oh, and you so can good. eat uh you can eat some of it, right? But you're not going to eat all of it in one day unless you're a fucking hog. But what you can do is you can take it out and you can microwave it for two and a half minutes. And it is, I mean, look, look, some KFCs aren't really that good, right? A lot it's of them pretty, aren't. It's pretty much the same as KFC. I'm pretty <laughs> sure they microwave them at the store. Yep. And so you get that and it's just so, so good. And like you get the bucket and like now, like, I don't know, like inflation, it's probably like $700. But back in the day, it was like 20 bucks. And so you you spend 20 bucks and you have five meals, that's four fucking dollars. And like a $4 meal that's a chicken with mashed potatoes and gravy from Kentucky Fried Chicken is insane. Yeah, that's, that's a real lard ass thing to do. I used to do something similar uh, when I lived alone in Kansas. There was this Chinese place near where I lived that was so fucking good. I would just order like, five, six boxes of food. Like I'd get like fried rice, noodles, mm. like chicken, uh, like these like meat skewer things. And then I would just eat it over the course of a week. 